Oh no, mic check. Oh, failure. He's done it again. Thank you, Voro. Thank you, Voro. Appreciate it. Oh man. Got him. I know, right? Oh. Welcome. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. Hopefully everyone's doing well. As you can see, I'm nice and rested. Uh, no mistakes here. Everything's perfect. In order to do so, let's, um... Why don't, why don't we just uh, go and have Geralt get a little bit of rest real quick, too? You know, why not? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just get, get a good old one hour on him. Yeah. Good gracious. Uh, let's make sure I've got my mouse in the right place. There we go. Perfect. Off we go. All right, what are we doing? So we're, um, ah, uh, yes, that's right. We're still, we're catching up on a couple of diagrams. And that's, we're, that's kind of it, right? We're almost done. It's about time for, yeah, look at all that. We even went and got the question marks that were up here. We're, we're almost done with this game. That's insane. Oh my goodness. The channel points. <gasps> the channel point bets. They're getting pretty serious. <laughs> Oh no, someone just added one? You broke you broke it. Who did that? Who did that? How's it going, player new? Who wouldn't did that? Uh you sound hype uh hyperzelder drinking blank tea tonight? I don't know, am I? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and let's jump over to this area instead of run over there. Um uh, but yeah, we're getting near the end of this game. So I'm I'm excited to see how the end of this DLC goes, as well as what we're gonna- Oh my good gracious, hello! Okay, hold on, everyone, everyone just hold on a second here, let me pull out my- pull out my weapon here. Jeez, I didn't know the party already started. <laughs> Come on now. Sam. Jeez, these Vargas don't give you a chance. One left. Nice and slow for a good old strong swing. Nice. Easy. Good gracious. I mean, I guess we did use uh, mystical magical powers to essentially teleport over here. Uh, so the Bargus were like, whoa, what are you doing? Goodness. Hydrate, you got it. Save. Player knew we just started. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're drinking black tea, uh, I think frequent saves are needed uh, for the hour. Well, I mean... Oh, wait, we, we just quick save in this game. Bioshock, we have to do it so there's no F5 in Bioshock. F5 pulls out of plasmid in Bioshock, as opposed to quick saving. Blam, got it. Nice. All right. Um, I've got it set to investigating, so we can just follow the coordinates. I'm, I'm, I can... Read chat in the meantime. Um, you don't like that people just put all their all their eggs in one basket? Oh, I see. I see. You don't like uh, voting all in on one way? Um, uh, you're just asking. Uh, you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. You can trust it. Yeah, just, just it's fine. You can tell me what you what tea you're drinking. It's not like there's a vote in people's channel points on the line. You can you can tell me. I'm a trustworthy fellow. I won't bet against it. No insider betting here. Hmm? <laughs> oh my good gracious! Hello. Jeez. Just, just, just trying to have a nice little. Oh my goodness, these panthers, they're. Oh, ow! Jeez, they hurt like trucks. Um, they're also not black panthers. All the others have been black panthers. These are not black panthers. Oh, that was really close! <laughs> Okay, that's that's way too close for comfort. Get out, Carol. Carol, get out. Carol, back up. Okay, I can't read chat right now as much as I want to. I have to kill this thing. Good gracious! I'm getting walloped. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Should get them both, yeah. Oh, he went flying. You can see his uh. Oh, you can see a shadow. Whew. Dangerous. We'll wait here for a second to let us heal up. Good gracious. <laughs> oh, yeah, what happened to your stream extendy button? I removed it. The stream extending button had been removed. 
until a later date. And that's what I was trying to say at the start of the stream, but uh, uh, the mic wasn't on. I'm currently trying to work about getting additional... Um, <laughs> Zelda took away the good things from us. Yeah, for a bit. It was temporary. It was temporary. I'm, I'm trying to finagle more regular time. Uh, like, additional okay, time here and there. Need to look around. Um, so I'm hoping in the new year, you know, in, what, two and a half weeks, change some stuff up. Change up a couple of things on here, including bringing that button back. Inclu including bringing the stream extend button up. Uh, instead, what it is right now, Voru, is uh, we end the, we end the stream whenever is a good like story plot time, which sometimes means we go very long, and sometimes mean we don't this go very long. Paper all over, rare on each one. Maybe Merton left one too. Easy, look at this. Notes. Remember to seek moderation in all things, in drink and vittles, and the pleasures of the flesh. For whomsoever shall abuse these pleasures shall, shall awake the next morn in great pain with a pounding head and a withered member. Silver, strawberries, and potatoes. Nice. Um, uh, Zetter takes all happiness away from the chat. Oh, come on, Badger. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's going to be forever, an entire year. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's literally like what 20 days 20 days about 20 days hashtag bring it back oh no the hashtag's gonna start trending <laughs> oh no um do not under thy neighbor uh do not uh, onto thy neighbor that uh what thou thyself deemst unpleasant jeez okay um unless thy neighbor hath done thee sorely wrong and rife the vileness of their deeds. Um, so do unto others what you want to do unto them, unless they've done unto you poorly, in which, uh, because that's what they want done unto them, do unto them the poor, poor manners that they did unto you. What? Okay. Sure. So who won? Ah, oh, yes, we'll figure out the tea in a second here. Um, it has been, it's been gone for, it's been gone for 72 days now? Are you serious? It's been gone for two and a half months? I, you know, I actually believe it. I believe it's been gone that long. Perfectly balanced vote, as all things should be. As all things should be. Hey, sup, sup, soy. How are you doing? Uh, you've been away for a long time? You missed the entire button phenomenon? Oh, I think you did, yeah. <laughs> you did. Welcome back, though. Uh, verily, I say upon thee, give alms to the poor, yet deposit not a whole watermelon upon beggars' laps, but merely half, lest the beggars' joy strike him with a po uh, what? Apoplexy? Apoplexy? Okay. Guess uh, otherwise he gets a heart attack. Is that what we're supposed to read off of that? I wasn't here. A mug. Bunch of these. Oh, I just want to finish reading these real quick. Uh, thou shalt speak the truth, unless thou is not well served by being spoken. In which case. Thou shalt lie. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me? Alright, uh, we'll start with these ones here. Uh, please bless mummy with good health. This, oh, great Leviota. So this is a great Leviota shrine. I see, I see, I see. Well then. Man, you spent a, uh, you spent a bunch of your points. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, I'm, I'm trying to think of other things that we'll bring into that. And I'm hoping to get uh, a bunch of stuff going for um, channel points and like in the new year. Uh, I'm going to try and pull a little bit of extra time for me to sit down and focus on that. But other projects on the side for a bit and work on getting the stream to be uh, updated a bit. We need a new start screen. We need a new uh, technical difficulty. We need a technical difficulty stream instead of the um, like intermission one we've got. Uh, I need to I want to spruce some things up. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You would have been a millionaire if you wouldn't have been for that button. <laughs> it's a good button. Getting to getting to extend the stream is a good button. Uh, please bless Mamu with good health, great Leviosa. Make her well and make her never get so awful, uh, awfully pissed again. Oh my goodness, sad. Oh, got too fast, too far. Oh, great Leviosa, may my fields yield bounties and save them from floods and droughts. 
But only my fields, mind you. My neighbor has had enough luck of late. Gaston. Oh, poor Gaston. Poor Gaston. Envying his neighbor. Uh, let me be beautiful, shapely, alluring, and always youthful. And may lice gnaw at the strumpet <laughs> Marina's fat uh, henny. Oh my goodness. But Betty, seriously. There's a lot of pettiness in here. Text smeared. Already asked, Melite. Uh, I've been to the Druids and nothing. So maybe you, great Leviota, will hear my prayer. I want the old, ugly, and fat. Uh, wait. I want to be... Wait, I want to be old, ugly, and fat. For I'm sick and tired of staring at all these fair folk. Uh, they're as dull as dishwater. And I, sh uh, I at least aspire to be interesting. What? Question. I'm so confused. <laughs> this will come. Uh, you'll go back to being a Zal dragon. You might. Yeah. Well, we'll see. At least for the moment, for like two, two and a half weeks. There, Vora. Two and a half weeks. We'll turn this around. We'll turn it around for you. I had a feeling this was the last one. It was a nice, pretty paper. This is all the ones that are broken down. What is his? What is his? Looking attractive is normal and boring. She wants to be different and thus uh, old, ugly, and fat. I mean, I guess. I mean, if it, if it works, it works. Maybe she's getting too much attention, which I can understand that. You know, some people get just like berated with an insane amount of attention uh, due to their looks. And sometimes you just uh, just want to melt into the crowd, have no one notice you. I get it. I understand. Uh, seventh of Fayon of twelve o three. Bless me with strength, that I may uh, that I may never falter. Bless me with grace, so I may never doubt. Bless me with fortitude of spirit, that I may leave behind the old and embrace the new with courage. I, Merton, the mem a member of the Guild of Witchers, named after the Manticore, began this day, uh, this day my pilgrimage here. In the very cave where, for three and twenty days, and three and twenty nights, Leviota fasted and meditated, I vow to atone for my sins, to walk the path of redemption, and rid myself of all the tie, all that ties me to my old life, so that I may stand proudly among the disciples of the high, uh, of the highness, of the highest, and yeah, of the highest. It was capital H, I was assuming like highness or something. Of the highest, and proclaim myself a new man. I guess the highest would be like all of the gods that among the disciples of the highest? Yeah, no, it must be a, a group of gods. There's no reason why it would be capitalized otherwise. It has to be for some pronoun. Um or not pronoun. Um it is a noun. Um I shall thus uh, I shall thus now journey to the Temple of Leviota to greet, uh, to meet with the great beggar, a sage who's profound, uh, who's pondered the pearls of Leviota more than any else. Uh, in his wait, what? More than any else in this sad veils of tears. Okay. Um, started off strong with the reading, <sighs> falling off in the end. I shall listen to his counsel and follow his guidance to my road on absolution. Martin wrote a prayer on the back of the diagram. Seems he left the prison, came here, then went on to the temple. Okay. So now go to the temple. <laughs> so we're just going to have to follow this one around, I guess. I don't think we ever fought a manticore in The Witcher. Yeah, I don't think we fought a manticore in any of The Witchers. I wonder if they're extinct. I wonder if they're extinct. Because I don't think we've ever fought a Manticore. Out of all three games. Unless, you know, at the end of this mission here, we end up fighting a Manticore, which would be pretty interesting. Hello, dear. Aw, oh, I didn't get him. <laughs> I tried. Oh my goodness, how far are we going? 1,900? Oh my good gracious, okay. Uh, we're, we're, not, we're not manually running over there. We're going over here instead. Yeah, we're not we're not running that far. That's way too far. <laughs> we'll teleport over there. Good gracious. Good gracious. Um 
You had like two. You had like two hundred and fifty thousand Voro. Holy moly! I think you dropped down uh, to one hundred and forty thousand due to the stream extends. That's insane that you did that, though. I guess this is time to recoup on those points, yeah. Uh, before you start spending them in earnest again. All right. You can teleport from here to here to the shrine. Alright. And I think it's huge. Oh, uh, wait, wait. So did Voro win or not? Ah, good question. Good question. What is the tea of the day? The tea of the day. The tea of the day is. Tea of the day is. Oh, nice. These numbers. The tea of the day is green tea. The tea of the day is green tea. Blue team wins. Blue team wins. Tell old Merton wrote about seems like. Should look around. Might find something interesting. Yeah, it looks like the bot was wrong again. Oh man. Player knew you're struggling a bit there. Bot's a bit rusty. True, true. It has been three days since we last streamed. It's true. Uh, so I'm supposed to explore here, so I guess I'll just look inside the sarcophagi, because, uh, you know. Oh my goodness, are we seriously going to just break open the tomb? Sure. Yeah, and I'm sure no one will care. Specter in a place like this? Behind a wall? Someone Wait. must have walled something to up. Spirit can't rest in peace. Huh. So this is the great beggar. This is Ghost. Oh, okay. One, A, he's got magic. Two, B, I should probably have my weapons out. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see him. Okay. <laughs> kind of hard to properly see him here. Ow, okay. To, like, see his movements is pretty tough here. That's okay, we'll just use Swallow Potions. Rest in pieces. Alright. Put that way. What do we have in here? Some cotton and thread. Bones of the Great Beggar, aha. Hey, Sarg, how's it going? Uh, false vote. Earl Grey wasn't on there. True, Earl Grey wasn't on there. I'm I actually need to pick up some Earl Grey. I need to go to the store while out. Uh, it's Jasmine tea tonight. It's Jasmine tea tonight. But I do need to go get more Earl Grey. It's true. I think I still have a little bit of Lady Grey lying around. Spirit won't rest in peace until I bury the remains. Some sarcophagi in the first chamber. One of them could work. You just stuff them in there. I have a feeling someone was using that before. All right, Geralt. If it works, it works. Ah, diagrams. And and something else. I don't know what. Ah, there you go. Great figures journal notes. Alright, we'll take a look at that in a moment. Let's finish looting this real quick. Wow, okay, that's that's nice. It's nice. Get some money out of there. Right, trousers and boots and a journal. Alright, for the journal. Uh but wait, isn't Jasmine T if brood right supposed to be black and not green? Green? What? No, it's it's green. It's green. Most definitely. Because uh, it's specifically a green jasmine tea. Uh, if you oversteep it, I'm sure you can get it, like, to a brownish color. But, uh... No. Can't blame... Can't blame nah, I can't blame you for trying. It's true. Uh, oh, the seventh of Feyen again. So this is the same time in the other location. Look at that. Anything can be green with enough dye? This is also true. If you try hard enough, anything can be colored green. Um, the attacks have grown more fierce. The residents of the nearby village, who oppose my presence, become more aggressive by the day. They do not like that I speak the truth about their former deities. They cannot understand that they will only find salvation in Leviota. They threaten me with death, but if I am to die for Leviota... If that is the destiny the prophet has marked out for me, I shall fulfill it with a broad smile on my face. 
The 14th of Fan, 1203. I have just parted the most... Uh, I've just parted with a most uh, marvelous guest. A true convert. A man of extraordinary uh, yearning for the truth and faith. He is called Merton and was once a witcher, but has abandoned that dishonorable trade and embarked on the path of truth, which is still a path. So how much did he really change out on what he was doing as a witcher, right? <laughs> He's still on a path, if not the path. Um, we spoke at length and sat together for hours in meditation and prayer. To better honor Liviota, he left behind here many goods, which symbolize his attachment to his former life. He has made great progress. Oh, if only all the disciples of Leviota were so fervent in their faith, this world would be a better place. Uh, Merton confessed to me the bitter truth about the foul deeds he had wrought in his past life. I told him if he is to obtain cleansing, he must go to the hidden chapel. Reaching, for this, black, uh, reaching this bleak place which is carved out of rock and ridden with dangerous creatures, will in itself constitute a challenge and a trial. If Leviota lets him enter the chapel's confines, it means he has forgiven his sins, his crimes. And so Merton went, let Leviota guide his feet. The 19th of Fan, uh, 1203. My fate is sealed. I shall die for my faith, for truth. For Leviota. This night, folk from the village, a band of drunken thugs, attacked the temple. With hate and malice on their breath, they cried that since I am the great beggar, I should now beg uh, Leviota for mercy. They looted the temple for all its treasures, thankfully leaving the books, which they deemed worthless, and walled me in to wither in a sealed tomb. If Leviota does not send me help, I will die here. May my bones bear witness to his glory. Oh, wow. Uh, next one? Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hydrate your honor. But yeah, next one will dramatic read. There's going to be another one uh, because of where we're going uh, in this storyline. We'll, we'll, the next one will be a dramatic reading. I got you. I got you. We'll put more emphasis in it. Yes. Yes. It's going to be glorious. Oh, we have to teleport again. That's probably one. Because uh, it's on the other side of the... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Oh, wait. We're going to quickly bury his... Hold on. Don't forget. We need to bury his corpse. I don't want to be carrying it around with me for the rest of the game. Uh, can we bury him in here? Can we bury him in here? Soul should rest in peace now. Pray. Weird. It was definitely a side quest piece, because it, it, or a side uh, side objective, because it did not have that on the um, trackables at all. So go. Time to fast travel. Oh, you know it. Here we go. Uh, you wonder how American, uh, how many Americans the word trousers would has confounded them? What do you mean trousers? What? There's nothing weird about trousers. It's a normal word. Did I go right past the signpost while I was talking and reading? Yeah, I did. I'm like, wait a second. I don't remember these trees being in the way. Yeah, I went too far. There's the signpost. Um. Yeah, I think I think uh, especially if um, uh, I imagine like. You know, working guys would know that, right? They'd know what trousers are. I don't know, are there any other fancy words to describe pants? <laughs> like, uh, like, are there other ways like that are like super fancy to describe pantaloons? Hmm? Does anyone know of any? Something that would like confuse people? I mean, because I know like one that really does mess with me. Uh, it's not pants specifically, but one that messes with me that's a, that is an American thing um, is like soft drinks, right? Sodas, pop, all those things. Uh, some people call them a Coke, which is which confuses me because that's a brand. 
which I understand what they're talking about, right? Like, uh, for Coca-Cola, it's, it's a brand, but, like, they'll ask in general for a Coke, but then, like, for something that's not from the Coca-Cola Foundation. So it's, it, that just, that, that baffles me. But then again, it's the same thing as saying, like, um, brand name uh, Hoover for, or for vacuum cleaner. There you go, yeah, yeah. You use the brand name Hoover for vacuum cleaner. Exactly, yeah, there's, there's another good example, uh, just like for Coke for a soda. Or a or soft drink or whatever you want to call it, uh, just like um, people use Band Aid instead of adhesive bandage uh, as a Band Aid as a brand or Kleenex as opposed to uh, face tissues, right? Uh, there's a bunch of them out there, uh, which just goes to show their marketing top notch. <laughs> They're doing real good work. <laughs> just like the great beggar described it. Apple Martin visited must be in the cave. We managed to, uh, oh, some, uh, poison here, it looks like. Is that poison? <laughs> yeah, it's poison. Oh! Oh! I can't move. It's supposed to happen. <laughs> Damn it. What's going on here? I was about to drink a potion, but I think this it's scripted. Well, there you go. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, a handful of people would would not pick up Hoover. Nude women in a cave. Something's not right. Yeah, something's off, Geralt. Oh, good gracious, Geralt! Oh my God, what? Geralt, run! Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm caught. Ugh. I think they're foglets? I can still see them. They are wiggling. Oh, they're Brixay! Oh, that explains everything. Oh, no. Run! Go, run! Oh, Carol, come on now. No, oh, they're right on us. Fire off the Quinn! Or the, the, the art. Good gracious. Fire off the sign! Ugh, he takes so long to cast. Come on, get her. Oh, girl. Oh, that's not good. Woo! Oh, got her. There's one more somewhere out here, though. Roxane might have been hallucinations. Sure as hell fought as if they were real. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> They're invisible. Land mermaids? I know, right? Oh, yeah, they did go re. It's true. Their re was very powerful. Uh, do we want to go? Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. We're not going to... We don't get cave mats. Want to go this way? Just a beggar. Let's go back and check the other side real quick. Just want to see you don't... I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. But clearly we're supposed to go up there, because that's where the, the ladies were chilling at. Right? No? Ah, uh, okay, we can get there from two different directions. They both get here. Yeah, we just appear up above instead of below. Alright, cool. So, it, it's got to be all these mushrooms. Look like, how many mushrooms are in here. We've got to be on spores. Um, so, how long till you're maxed out? On suets? Oh my goodness, just... We're not even close. We're only at like 300 and something of them right now. <laughs> Beggars here. Must be a test. Can I talk to him? Give an alm? Arms for the poor, sir. Give an alm? Do not avert your eyes. Give an arm. Give an arm. Uh, were alms like a unit of coin? Actually, not sure on this one. Last one. Wonder what'll happen now. Uh, got some long room. Pick that up. Wow. Like nothing occurred. 
<laughs> okay. Now what? Alms is an act of charity in the Bible. I take. I yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I didn't think it was like a, a currency, but oh. You saved that person. But yeah. Okay. I was curious. Well, whether it's an illusion or not, let's go get these kicky moras out of here. Come on, Morris. Got ten, ten uh, ranks on here. Gonna level it up. No. Okay. Oh, there's another test. It's okay. We got some gold nuggets out of it. Got nothing out of those though. Right. Daisies. The breakthrough. Seems odd to have. Have you have to do that? Man, it looks a lot like Libyota. Impossible. Hello? Not seeing visions anymore. Hope that's the end of that. Hmm. Wonder if it's a relic of some sort. <laughs> or if it's just a dead person. Uh, note in the sword. The 17th of Fan, 1203. It is done. I have reached the cave of tribulations and stepped into the hollowed confines of the hidden chapel. Never shall I forget what I have been through. I was attacked by giant fire breathing creatures, power monstrosities akin to drowners, crossed with Endriga, man with the Men with the faces of wild animals. Yet, Leviota smiled on me and saw fit to let me survive this harrowing gauntlet. At, at its end, here in the hidden chapel, I surrendered myself to meditation, and immediately he filled my mind with a vision of a lake whose clear water, clear crystal, wa crystal clear waters, words, Surrounded me, penetrated my soul, and cleansed it of all wickedness and villainy. When I awoke, I was certain that Leviota had designated um, as the last situation on my pilgrimage. Wait, what? Isn't it had. De yeah, it designated a lot. What? Okay. Uh, the Lake of Cleansing. This picked where he's going next. The wording just got me. Uh, yes, uh... Leviota let the superhuman through? Yes, 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 that's, exa that's exactly right. The Lake of Cleansing, where Leviota healed the bodies and spirits of his followers. Following the advice of the sage known as the Great Beggar, in whose wisdom I basked at the Temple of Leviota, I pray... All is well with him, and the people of his village have understood he only speaks the truth and means them no harm. I shall now leave behind further things binding me to my former life. Doing so is not easy, however, for acquiring these diagrams once cost me a great deal of time, energy, and sacrifice. But I know this is the right path. Let Leviota accept my humble offering. I now continue onward, towards the Lake of Cleansing. Through my road, though my road is difficult, and all of sacrifice, and full of sacrifices, it grows ever more straight and clear, and I feel a lightness in my soul. My certainty, I walk, what? My certainty? Okay. My certainty I walk the path, <laughs> the right path, grows strong as iron, firm as steel. Praise be to Leviota. That feels weird. My certainty I walk the right path. I'm certain I walk the right path? Or... Okay. 
that just felt weird. Oh, the to wording. To seek final atonement. Should look into it. Is there anything in here? Let's look down here. I don't know. Some of, some of the wording is is getting me. Where is getting me? Can I not? Can we not dive? Oh no, I can't. It's it's not it's not deep enough to actually dive. Girl, 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 get off the wall. Thank you. My certainty that I walked the right path. Uh, I think it was just my certainty. It, it was my certainty I walked the right path. But yeah, uh, it it would be a better uh, word if it was like I'm certain I walked the right path. That would have made more sense to me. Um, but again. You know, we have to give them a little bit of leeway here. English is not the first language of the dev team. So, you know. It, you know, we have to be at least a little understanding. Yeah. It's uh, it's word choice, not typos. Typos, that's different. We have programs to make sure that you don't end up having typos in your final product. Uh, whether, no matter what language you're in. Word choice, eh, it's a little harder. It's amazing how it's translated so well uh, as it is. Yeah, I know it. It really is. Like, we find very, very few times in which it ends up having awkward wording like that, um, and it makes sense that it's on a DLC um, more so than in the main game, as it's a smaller development team that generally works on DLCs, um, and they often have. It's oftentimes done exclusively in house. Um, so it's entirely understandable that they're like, yeah, we've got like two guys that kind of that that speak English and should be able to sort this out. And who knows? It could have been at the very end of uh, the crunch time, right? It's like we've got two weeks until this thing is released. Make sure to get that writing done. It's like, yeah, sure, okay, boss, don't worry. It's like two a.m. He's finishing up the writing. We've all done that, right? We we've all done that. Doing uh doing a writing assignment, whether it be for work or for school, like past the middle of the night trying your best and you just don't have the time to proofread it in the morning. It happens. We'll give them a pass. Now, where's the last place we need to go? Way over here. Thank goodness we have all these teleport spots. I'm glad we went to this one. To this uh, um, treasure hunt one last. Good gracious. Just truly a struggle. Alright, off we go. Get to the last one and see what the end of his story is. Once we reach the Lake of Cleansing. <laughs> Watch it be like a teeny tiny pond. It's like a teeny tiny pond with a... Um, with like a scrub brush that's like chained to the center of the pond. <laughs> yes, go here and cleanse. Ah, it's pretty big. You did stick that necklace in your bloomers. Did you think I wouldn't see? My greed. We split the loot evenly, three ways. I can't help it. I've been like that since I was a tot. Maybe it's because my mom is dead. Shut it. I've heard enough of that. <laughs> Boys. Gentlemen, comes for comes you this day. Seems to me we must Circle him! Circle him! Okay, all right. I thought we could be civil about this. Oh my goodness, ow, that spear hurt. Wow, look at all that silver. Oh my goodness, his friend literally just exploded. Love the spell of barbecue in the middle of the night, yeah? Nice. My men throw their lives away attacking an armed witcher. I'll never know. Something wrong with my face? Yeah, I was gonna say, girl. Like, I don't know why these guys keep Martin doing it. About. Gotta be nice place. Ooh. Pretty as hell. Oh my goodness. That's good points. Yes, yeah, this is a pretty spot. All right. What do we have here? Uh, part of a wagon. Ah, here we go. Oh, a goblet. Wait, what? It's a gold plate. And who ruined what? Build a ring, some crowns? Whoa. Uh, what happened over here? Where does the treasure trail go? I mean, we can always just circle back. Crowns. There's a cave in here. 
Let's... Hold on. Let's get our uh, killer whale potion in real quick. Give us 50% more breathing. What is this? Is this an actual cave or... No, it's just a, just a crevice. Okay. Well, let's head back. Back over here. Pick up the, uh, I think it was a note? I don't know how we're going to read the note if it's been sitting at the bottom of the, of the lake for a long period of time. But, you know, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We'll see. What do we have here? Yep, last letter. It's all crumpled up. Um, turned every stone. Achievement unlocked. What achievement is that? Find all Grandmaster diagrams for each Witcher uh, school set. Nice. Um, could offer detailed uh, hydrographic surveys as a side hustle too. True, he really could. <laughs> With how long he's able to stay underwater. That's very true. Uh, he just needs to make sure he's a little bit better at drawing. I don't think Geralt's a great drawer great artiste when it comes to drawing. Uh, wow, it's already up to 30 seconds, so we're missing 17 days since last time we mentioned something, right? Because the last one was the uh, 17th. Uh, the 32nd of Fane, 1203. My road has reached its end. I, Merton, uh, having been uh, given as a child to members of the Manticore Guild of Witchers, have been subject to their vile mutations and... Uh, refashioned from uh, by the destructive regime of training uh, do this day cease to be a witcher I have finished my pilgrimage and devised uh, divested myself of all that ties me to my old life I have journeyed to the hidden chapel in the uh, cave of tribulations and survived today I am born anew here in the lake of cleansing I leave behind the last of the items which signify my attachment to my previous incarnation as a witcher. Although, uh, along with them, I leave behind my cares, my grievances, and my obligations. I cast off all that I was, including my name. For now on, I shall answer to Chevelle. I am a new man. Thank you, most uh, redoubtable uh, Leviota. I feel my new self pushing me onward to new lands and places which remain hidden from myself, uh, from hidden from me. The good folk who helped me during my journey always said I must listen to my inner voice and follow it. For if it is through, uh, for it is through that inner voice that Leviota speaks to us, I shall not go against its will. I sh will set off north to Tamaria, Edern, and uh, perhaps even the Dragon Mountains. Uh, I will proclaim the glory of Leviota and do good deeds, just as the prophet commanded. Martin's last stop. All right, that's them all. Nice. Uh, big rocks here, small rocks there, sandbar here, uh, deep open waters here. Easy peasy. Yeah, I know. He'd, he'd be able to do it really, real quick. It would take him like a day. Uh, with how long he's able to hold his breath. But then again, there are pearl divers in this game. Dear. Got him. Got to hide. Nice. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, we just uh, swan dove into the rock. That worked out well. Um, but there are pearl divers in this game. Um, and I know there's some people. There are people out there that can hold their breath for like an insane amount of time while swimming. Like a, like a truly just ridiculous amount of time. Um, let's go back to the base of the farm. And then... Here, so what are we looking at with the quests? Secondary quests and treasure hunt quests. So we're done with the treasure hunt stuff. We don't need the bear or the wolf stuff. That's fine. We have the Grandmaster things. So we don't need the basic versions anymore. No big deal there. Uh, we could do them. I don't know if there's a quest uh, or if there's an achievement for it, but I don't see a point in us spending our time on that. Uh, instead, it looks like we need to go to the Wine Wars, and then we need to go to the tournament and see if we can pick up the remaining six cards for our deck. So let's go get these two done, and then we're just going to do the main quest. We're almost there. It took five minutes. Uh, you think five minutes is the dude you're thinking of? 
Maybe. I feel like people can uh, hold their breath longer than five minutes, though. Like, as crazy as that sounds. I know I know you can hold your breath longer if you're not moving, because you're not burning oxygen, so you don't need it. But, um... Maybe it is five minutes. That's Five minutes is still a ridiculous amount of time. I, want, I was thinking it was maybe seven. Um... But yeah, just, like, that, that is just crazy. Uh, does Skellica quest line, uh, quest break the game or something? Oh, the Skellica one that I have just is totally bugged. Well, it won't work. Totally bugged. How's it going, Elsers? How are you doing today? Um, yeah, the, uh, this, this one here, Hard Times, I can't talk to him. When I, when I talk to him, there's no option to turn this in. <laughs> I can I can't tell him uh, that his parents are dead or whatever the... Hello. Hello, Bean She. Okay. All right, Bean She. Whoa, there's a dragon. <laughs> Did you see that shadow? There's a dragon that just went overhead. Let's dragon in. Come on, Beachy. Oh, she's got her friends. Quickly. Quickly. Hard. And hard. We'll just focus on her back up and hard again. <laughs> so I think when we kill her, yeah. The nice thing about Bean Cheese, they don't actually do that much damage, so we can kind of just wail on them. Uh, did you sell the letter? I don't think so. But you, now you're making me second guess myself. But that was like two months ago um, that we did that quest originally, so pff, if, if so, I have no idea which vendor I sold it to, so I don't know how to find it. Uh, hopefully we got some good coin for uh, selling that, I don't know. Uh, you never sold any books or letters, uh, and it was just broken for you too. Okay, yeah, because I'm pretty much I, I I really focus on not selling any of the weapons or anything. Who are these guys? Just pilgrims? Ah, just uh, poor townsmen. Um, yeah, I don't sell any of the books. I, I sell all the notes. Anything that ends up in the junk section, I sell those. But I imagine it wouldn't be in the junk section. Not a place mentioned in the letter. Let's come back here during day. I do need more potions. My potions are very low. Doesn't mean we're going to lose our little buffs here. Um, but I would like to be here, A, during the daytime, so we can see, and B, get all of our potions, because I've been spending a lot of... Pre predominantly our Rafford's decoction to ensure we get uh, maximum health quickly. Let's see if that's the full health potion. Ah, I'm the seller, I see. Search the warehouse with your witcher sense. Suet mushrooms. Don't mind if I do. Nails and a haft. <laughs> Good old combat roll in here. Just make sure there's no traps, you know. Just uh, being stealthy. Vast ladle. What else we got in here? They die. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Hello. That's awkward. Um, let's back up here for a moment. Let's go get our uh, potions on. Uh, I need this if we're going to go and deal with this guy. Uh, just wonder if that quest uh, hadn't been marked as a quest uh, of the book that you found. No, I, I think it's just straight up done. But it happens. With all the uh, with all the quests that there are in this game, <laughs> would be surprised if there were zero bug uh, quests. There you go. Come on, show yourself. Show yourself. Where'd it go? Is that a sign? Is 
Hello? Um... Speaking of bugged... Okay, we can get back in. Um... Uh, our last checkpoint wasn't too long ago. Actually, this one's the uh, one we do. Want to save slot? Well, it's just gonna, it's gonna reload, because <laughs> apparently it just bugged down on us. There you go. <laughs> so you know what? Sarg's hanging out here in champion. Like you know, sounds like it might have bugged out. Then that's kind of obnoxious. And it's like. Hey, look! Example. Oh, there's Cantu. Oh, we have to go kill the Banshee again. Well, we'll do it proper this time. We'll do it the right way. We'll get our Spectre Oil lined up, and we'll go and we'll knock her down a peg or two or five. With the power of Yerdin. Yerdin. How do you like that silver? Wham! Yurden again. Ah, wow, she only spawned one friend this time? Oh my goodness, it hits like a truck compared to her. Holy moly. <laughs> no! Okay, I did. Ugh, <laughs> oh, I swear. I, I just want the signs to be instant cast. Like, I, I don't want... <sighs> I understand they're magic and they require a quick bit of buildup. Those signs... I always use them as if it's instant. Uh, does she just spam the skeletons, or uh, if so, you could farm them for sword uh, for sword increases? I don't know if they count. Uh, but this time we'll hit her with uh, dust as well. It's fine. Moon Moon Duster. We'll do it entirely perfectly right this time. It's fine. We're playing on the super hard difficulty anyway. I shouldn't be just brute forcing things uh, willy nilly, yeah? Because then I'll I'll be good for the most time, and then uh, and every now and then this will happen. Where'd she go? Oh, that's right on me. Ouch. Hello? Lady? Rude. Oh, I got myself in the corner. Get out of there. Need some more room. Pop. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll just, uh, we'll art spam her again. One, two. Up to the side. Up to the side. Whoa. <laughs> Not the skeletons. Yeah, she's gotten a whole lot more skeletons this time. Girl, please, focus on her, not on the skeletons. Girl, yes. Keep it up. Alright, again. She's immune to the freeze. That's okay. We've got her. Easy peasy. We've got her. No problems. Lamp. We'll just quick save after this time. Imagine blaming Geralt uh, for your own inability to press Z. Oh, well, I'm doing the lock on. It feels weird. <laughs> He's gonna lock on. Feels weird. Come on now. Feels weird, man. Exactly right. That's exactly right. So you get me. You understand. Alstris over here like, well, Zelda, clearly it's not the optimal way to do things. I'm like, Alstris, I know. <laughs> but it does, it feels weird. I mean, hey, at least I use Quen sometimes, right, Alstris? Right? <laughs> right, let's go try and see if we can actually do this right this time without it causing uh, bugs and glitches and stuff. Who knows? Right? Open the door. Give me the suet mushrooms. Loot the things. We're looting you. We're looting you. We're looting the barrel. We're loot this. Perfect. Save. Sword. Uh, 
when uh, potions for what is it? Curse? I can't remember what these uh, cursed cursed ones. Perfect. Okay. Curse. Curse oil. All right, off we go. <laughs> My Quinn did not block all that damage, dang. Whew, much easier. Alright. Sword. Oh, food mushrooms. Nice. Stack model pile. Oh, did I put relic oil on instead of first oil? I definitely did, right? Because I, yeah, I, I definitely did. Because I put the, uh, I put the white oil on instead of the yellow one. Whoopsie daisies. That's fine. It's a, don't worry, Ulcers. This dingus managed to kill it much faster than the last time anyway. Everything's a okay. <laughs> Got a loot down here, nice. Um, another side hustle for girl, professional uh, declutterer. Very true. You have a hoarding problem. Girl, here to take care of it. Mm, looks like an orcaspore killed him. Should search the body. Fragments of a letter. Clean the hatchery and be quick about it. Some witches started snooping around the place. Be careful getting rid of the rest of the bulbs. They're set to sprout any day now. Remember, destroy every letter and note from you-know-who. Leave not a single trace. Rest of the letter burned away. The letter suggests a third party's behind the troubles at Liam's and Matilda's vineyards. Still don't know who, though. And I'm no longer likely to find out. Damn it. Hmm. I'll have to go tell them what's going on. Wonder if that was a timed quest. I wonder if we like went there if the guy was if we ended up like interrogating him as opposed to finding him dead. That'd be really cool. Uh, afraid of no insect, no matter the amount of limbs, eyes, or other attachments. I mean, they're kind of just gross, so I understand that. I gotcha. get you. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't think this game's had any timed quests. Awesome. Are there any timed quests in this game? I don't think there are. No, I'm trying to remember back. I don't think we've done a single time quest. Oh, we didn't do any meditating. Whoops. Eh, we'll do that next. <laughs> we'll get over here and we'll meditate before we talk with them. We're halfway there already. Should have just tried to find a place to teleport to, but yeah, port time with something. And probably should have done that. Where's the nearest uh, teleport station for us? Oh my goodness, the other way up there. It's not gonna happen. Well, I've I've gone ahead and went from uh, here all the way to here, so we'll just continue to go to Belgrade. Break one of my rules once. I am bound to break many more. <laughs> He breaks one of his rules once. He's just like, "Hey, you know, I said I, was like, I wasn't gonna drink, but if I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna go wasted." It's like, wait, hold on, moderation, man. You just break your rules, just just go right back on the horse. Just like training, it's just like training when jousting. Fall off the horse, just get back on. It can be tough sometimes. It can hurt, but you can do it. It's how you get stronger. Uh, I wonder if there's a mod that just has the uh, nearest found uh, porter marked on the map. No, there's a mod that just lets you freely teleport from anywhere without even needing a, uh, uh, a signpost. There's, there's a mod for that. Um, but I, I like having limited fast travel. I, I do I do like limited fast travel. I think it's good. Uh, the biggest issue with uh, fast travel from anywhere is it makes the world feel small no matter how big the world is, right? You could have a massive, just insanely large map. But the thing is that if everyone just stays around certain points of interest, they just miss out on that whole section in the middle. Why did you even build it, right? Why did you even add it into the game? So someone kind of see it from off in the far corner of the map? Yeah. So I, I do like I do like limited fast travel. Fast travel is so important in large maps for sure. Just time saving and like um, for these kind of story games for sure. 
Um, but, uh... Oh, wait, no, this is the wrong... Oh, we're gonna see stakes. No wonder. I was like, no, this is the wrong one. We're supposed to be... Doing this one. Wait, hold on. Oh, so we're too late. Oh, so maybe we were too late. Maybe it was timed. And that just ended the, uh, the quest line. That's what it looks like. Alright, well, in which case... Fine, then. That's a little disappointing. I was kind of looking forward to seeing who was causing the problems, but I guess it was timed. Because it just it just ended. Unless, it, for some reason, that's how it was supposed to end. In which case, a bizarre way to do it. You kind of like the limitations on fast travel in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, you gotta set up, a, set up camp first. Oh, like, you can only teleport to different places that you've set camps, or you have to set up camp and then you can teleport anywhere. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game oh. I'm very interested in. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I'll play the first one because people have said that it's not required to play the first one to play the second, uh, since the second is a prequel to the first. But like for mechanics, it's always hard going further back in time, right? Of uh, release time. Um, but I am interested in the series. Uh, I think Red Dead Redemption was. Uh, Red Dead 1 needs X-Bone. Wait, you can't play it on the PC? Really? There's no PC port for that? That sounds crazy. Are they upstairs? Banquets ah. and wine. Yeah, they're upstairs. Darn. Do you like it? Oh, I'm my own master. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I was thinking about that. I think it'd be fun to do. Uh, I believe Red Dead was on the... Actually, was on the last uh, vote prior to uh, The Witcher winning. If memory serves. Better from the Count uh, Monier bro Monier's brother. Okay. My dearest brother, I'm so excited to hear you will be organizing a tournament where the players will be able to test the new faction. I think this is a fabulous idea. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make an appearance. My health has taken a sudden turn for the worse. The medics don't see much hope for me. Oh well. Everyone shall have their turn, as our father would say. I've had a good life, and not regret, uh, and do not regret anything. Well, except perhaps a few choices, choice cards I lost over the years. But you can't gain without risking something. Uh, this very well might be the last letter I write to you. So I'd like you to know, I am very proud of you. A Gwent tournament using the new faction. That is the idea of a lifetime. Do not worry about who, uh, who opposes your changes, and indeed, the notion of change itself. There shall always be malcontents. Those such as yourself should let intuition guide them and follow the path of progress. Where would we uh, where would our world be today if we allowed only the naysayer, uh, the nearsighted and unimaginative to share uh, to steer our affairs? Not we wouldn't be really far at all, let's be honest here. Uh, no doubt stuck in the dark in a dark cave with fire with warming fires and illu uh, illuminating candles beyond our reckoning. Yeah. Uh, thus, I retain high hopes for your tournament and wish it all the best. I believe it shall be it shall soon be the finest, most prestigious Gwent tournament in all the world. Your brother, Igor. I gotta talk to this guy, I guess. Uh, the only reason you modded the game to allow fast travel from anywhere was because of getting stuck behind what? invisible walls on, and insurmountable, uh, insurmountable pools of waist deep water. Yeah, yeah, I'll sort of Total, totally allowed. Totally fine. Absolutely agree. The number of times, like, we got, st I remember we got stuck in a hole, um, like, real, real, real quick here. Uh, we were over in Velen. We were running around, like, I don't know, like, like, over here-ish or something. Or, or something, yeah, we were somewhere in a bog and we got stuck fighting a hag. And we were, like, stuck in, like, this this jagged triangle hole and just couldn't get out. Um, as well as many other places and getting stuck getting stuck in dumb places in Novigrad as well. Because uh, in Novigrad, you can actually get onto the roofs 
up here. Um, you can get up onto the roofs over here by like right here. If you come up uh, through this, you can actually jump up on here to jump up onto this roof. I got myself in this space right here. Uh, there's no way out of this little space down here. But it was fun running on the roofs for a bit. <laughs> so, totally get it. But uh, it's the reason why I, I like games that have limited fast travel in their... Um, like by default. Uh, I really like that because it, it's, I think it's a really good way to pace the game out. And then you can decide on how you want the game to feel by uh, increasing and decreasing the number of uh, teleportable locations, which is pretty cool. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon, of this I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. Must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer in chief. Our tourney's more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see, to spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skellige, the new Gwent faction. Alright. Um. New deck? Where'd you, yeah, where'd you get the idea? Let's start there. New deck? Where'd you get the idea? I mean, why bother? Oh, Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion, travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea consumed by a fever, a suicidal oar dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother to defies the new faction. Makes sense. Tell me about it. These new cards. Tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit. The rage-filled potency. The rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, ogle us from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Krite, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. Mm hmm I want to sign up. Take part in the tournament, yeah. Sign me up. Let me win some cards. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. I don't have enough cards to make a full deck. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skelliger's no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, uh -oh. I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Hmm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. Um... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll play, but we we don't have enough cards for a full deck. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Oh, uh, what? Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself, for I too intend to play as Skellige. Already got a good enough deck to play in the tournament as Skellige. Might I have a oh, peek? Oh, okay. You do indeed. Come back in two days' time, then. 
for the start of the tourney. I guess we have enough. Good help. <laughs> what? Do oh wait, wrong, wrong one. Actually, let's take a look at the quest here. Yeah, I'm still missing six cards though. Oh, I should have done this first. We have two days to try and track these down. Let's go grab these. We've got two days to go. We've got no time to lose. Some of these cards might be crucial. All right. The closest one is only 160 strides away. Let's go and show some people that we're going to absolutely crush them with not using a Skellica deck at all. <laughs> Although we probably should do one or two. Um, so it's a good thing that they actually gave us two full days before the quest starts. That's really nice. 24 hour card quest. Hey, I was just asking about if there are time quests in this game. There you go. I guess normally what I would do is I would just like fast forward time, yeah. But um, in this case, nope. Nice tune. Uh, downstairs, downstairs. Oh, right here. Ah, the innkeeper. Innkeeper. Greetings and welcome, sir. Toussaint is home to the best wines in the world, and I've the best wines in Toussaint. Uh, actually, show me yours. Show me what you got. See if something catches my eye. And by that, I mean, might you be interested in some wine? Right. Sell those off. Gwent. Oh, yeah. Oh, always for Max. Care always. for a round of Gwent? All right, let's take a look. What do we have in Skellige? Yeah, we, we're still missing two cards to actually make a full deck. Uh, so you can give us some basic ones. Um, so we've got Medic, Bard. Yeah, we're going to need to... We'll win two of these. And uh, after winning two more cards, we'll then start playing with the Skellige deck to try and get a, get a handle on it. Get a strategy base, uh, base down. Okay, so... Good, good, good. Might not need two Scorches. Definitely good. This is useful. Yep, yep. Uh, Fringilla, I always chuck you out of the deck, don't I? Uh, we'll chuck Fringilla first. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll drop a Scorch. Ah, okay, not quite good enough. You already have enough cards? You just didn't put enough in your deck? Oh, do I? Okay, I'll put them in the deck. I will do exactly that then. Uh, let's just go and start off with the Spy. Hopefully we can get some more spines. Nope. Oh well. That really stinks. So we're actually at a mass massive disadvantage in this <laughs> in this run. Um, we can resurrect a bunch though, so we'll have to rely on resurrection then. We're actually quite liable to lose this round or uh, this entire uh, game. We could just forfeit right now. Like, we're not going to win. Um, kind of want to keep pushing round one, but... No, we'll go ahead and we'll just play this right now. See if we can get him to do anything. Nope, playing Dandelion. Okay. I'll go ahead and play Geralt. And then we'll probably just pass. Long ships. Marshaled in a bunch. Darn. Is it tough on Scorch? Because I can't Scorch because of this guy. Yeah, I can't remove that line. Yeah, I think we're actually gonna have to forfeit these. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna forfeit game. <laughs> there's there's no way we're gonna win. Welcome back, my friend. <laughs> there's literally no way we can win. We had a really, really bad draw. Our draw is about as bad as Careful it can get. Uh, but if we have enough cards for a, uh, a Skellige deck, let's, we should probably look at doing a Skellige deck. Oh, yeah, what, we have plenty. Oh, yeah, I just haven't been putting them in. All right, so we keep you, we keep you. Uh, let's start off. Is there, are there any other spies, or do we only get the one spy? Looks like we only get the one spy. Okay, Helmar, def get, get in there. Y'all Margaret in there. Get you in there. Your cards, effect cards. Uh, we definitely need this in here. 
special card limit. What do I have in special cards? I don't need three scorches. That's nuts. Got that instead. Um, special effects, two decoys. We don't need two. Eh, two's probably still good to have. We don't have a lot of draw, so you have to be very careful with how we have this set up. Uh, long ships we could do. I think the light long ships are actually going to be better for us to have. Uh, hard to get used to a relative uh, lack of spies after the Nilfgaard deck. Very true. It's gonna. Yeah, that's why I want to want to play with it now while we can. What is this thing's effect? Does the strongest cards on the battlefield really get in my deck? And then Lugos. Blue Boy Lu- what? Blue Boy Lugos. Oh, interesting. Wait, so did Lugos- is Lugos mad because of Sirens? Yeah, I missed that during the story. Huh. Let's look at all remaining cards here. So we got Geralt, uh, Siri, Yen, Triss, Dragon. These are all good. Um, actually, I think Brawly Drop, Grim Odim, uh, or Gantor Odim. I don't know if we need him. Or the Darkness. In this build. I think, he, if anything, he's holding us back. I don't want you. We're going to drop Zoltan as well. So they don't have special abilities. Um, this one has the ability that uh, when the card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new unit. So I'm curious to see what happens with that one. Um, in which case we can go and put Madman in here. I think I want more uh, utility ones in here. Yeah, and Northern Realm decks, yeah, because Northern Realm and Nilfgaard are really heavy on spies. Really good about that. Um, let's see, currently I'm not riding on Berserk much. Just forms into a bear. Uh, we're currently not playing with that. We could play with that more. Get some Berserkers in here. Or a Berserker, rather. Um, we're gonna go long ship. Uh, Madman Lucas, even though he's a power six, I'd rather have someone who's gonna power each other up. Like these guys. I think I'd rather frontline. Let's get three of those in here. See if there's anything else we want to trim. Um, six is fine. Haven't been able to switch is fine. I've got two horns. Is that right? I've got one commander's horn. I also think I should probably have two commander's horns. This one does ranged and siege. You know that means we can focus on. We can focus on melee. So let's focus on melee. Let's, let's have this be a melee-focused deck. So we'll get another Horn, and we'll get another Storm, right? We're going to focus on having this deck be around the power of melee. We have some in range that could be useful, more for ignores uh, effects, ignores expects, can be in melee range. Summons a bunch of boys. Uh, is just used for murdering someone, not for power, just for dealing with their strongest unit. And we're going to get rid of this young Berserker. We're gonna get rid of him. So this keeps us a nice trim 32 cards unless we can start dropping some specials. Um, we can swap these guys out, but this means that we can pull out of the deck or our hand. We just get all of them on the field. I I'd like the long light long ships. I, I think that's a good one to have in here. Uh, even though it is a mid-range unit. In Siege, um, you're not useful. And you're not useful, because there's only one of you. So we'll drop those. Northern Realms is technically the better spy deck. It has spies with lower power versus, uh, lower power than the Nilf Guardian, and it draws it, uh, after you win. Yeah, Alsars, I absolutely agree. Uh, for a draw deck, the uh, Nilf Guardian deck is not quite as good as the uh, Northern Realm deck. Okay, so if we drop the Maiden... How powerful is the bear? 
How powerful is the bear and the fiend? Because I can't see them here. <laughs> I'd have to play with them first. <laughs> I don't know. Um... We could get two different shield maidens here. They could bolster each other. A medic would be really, really beneficial, though. And she's the only medic. So we'll get her in here. Any medic is a good medic, especially if she can medic uh, combi back. Right? Because imagine Kambi gets discarded after the first round, bringing forth a fiend, and then we use uh, her again to bring Kambi back on the round two. That'd be really, really good. Uh, also, two random cards in the graveyard are placed on the battlefield at the start of the third round, so we just need to make it to the third round. We get a big boost to power, potentially. Um... I think this is decent. Um, we just need to fill it with a few more cards. Two more cards. Um, in which case, I don't think we need this, because that only is going to work with this Berserker. So let's drop this Berserker. And let's drop the uh, Mardrome. We'll drop those two. Giving us uh, three slots, which is enough for us to get three long ships. If you want to do three long ships that can build off of each other. Gives a high probability of pulling it. Unless we want to go for another Scorch. We have the ability to remove a lot right now. Also, what do we have for leaders? We have two different ones. Units lose uh, only lose half their strength in bad conditions and shuffle all cards from each player's graveyard back into the decks. Uh, let's go with this one. Making it where we take half from bad weather. That's really good. Uh, that means if they ever use bad weather, it's only going to hinder them, not really so much ourselves. Three points. Yeah, I think for three points, we just... Um, well, we can do... Gauntar Dim Darkness. We can just like with the long ships, but in... in uh, actually, no, just like the long ships in mid-range. Um, do we have... We've got two Commander Horns already, so we're fine there. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll put these back in. Well, we won't put uh, Gontaro Dim in here. I don't see a reason for him. He's only power two. Um, we'll get them in here. So this means that if we draw just one uh, Gontaro Dim Darkness and just one Light Longship, we've got uh, the power to place down 14 power in one go. Uh, now we've got a remove, we've got these guys that'll bolster each other, so each time that we place one of these guys down, they double, so these guys are gonna go crazy. Uh, Hjalmar, we get a 10. This is draw cards, powers up the front line, front line or midline, and gives everyone in his row plus one, excluding himself. We've got Vesemir, who's just a strong power of six. Uh, we've got our Drigon, uh, to kill off, uh, front lines if they get over 10. Kill off whatever the strongest thing in front line is. We've got Triss, Yennefer for a heal, and we've got Siri and Geralt for the clinch. Um, we don't have anything for dealing with melee necessarily. Well, we got the dragon, hopefully. So I think this is a decent deck. We have enough space for one more special card if we want to, but I don't know if I really need one. If anything, we've got Grab Biting Frost, but I think it's just going to bog our deck down. Let's play with this. Let's see. Excellent, excellent, good. Kind of stinks we have two of them, but okay. That's fine. Okay. This, it's a decent draw. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll send one of the long, light long ships back. Call them for Siri, nice. That's a really good trade. Um, and we'll drop this clear weather, because I don't care about clear weather. Uh, wait, did you win the bet earlier? You were AFK? Uh, what did you bet for, Banter? What did you bet for? We'll drop the clear weather. Okay, for Vesemir, nice. I think we might actually just drop the clear weather out of the deck entirely. Alright, so we'll just start off with the... with Camby. If he kills Camby or anything else, we get to go. Uh, so we're drinking black tea then? Nope. Nope, it's green tea today. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll play our light long ships, so we'll then pull the other two in. Nice, putting us up to 12. He's going for the long... Oh, jeez. Brutal. <laughs> He's going for the big one. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait, because if he plays another, we can use this guy to then kill them all. Right? Kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. Which would be good. We like that. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll play Vesemir for now. Oh, we have the ability to raise back Canby. Use Vesemir as kind of a decoy for the moment. And we're going to push for this round by powering these boys up to 8. Because 8 is still under the 12, so we can still use this guy for clearing them. Okay, I see. So he's pulled his friends in as well. They're all going to be uh, fives because of his power. Room to 35. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we'll clear. And then we're probably going to end turn after this. Because now we're at 30. He's seven points off. Defense only plays. Scorch. Yeah, it sucks. Okay. Oh, that's really brutal. All right, we're going to have to keep fighting this round then. If we win the first round and lose the second round, we then get uh, guys coming back. He will too, though. So we'll see what happens. We're going to have to keep fighting this round now. That was really painful. Let's go to Berserker. Oh, man, his mid-range is getting pretty terrifying. Uh, we can go ahead and we can use Dandelion to boost Vesemir's power. Oh, painful. So what does that do? What is the... So eight. So it goes from two to eight. So the dragon is a power eight. And actually, a uh, dragon, pfft, a bear. Uh, and it powers itself up with others of its kind. Interesting. Okay. I can't play Yennefer this round. We can't play Yennefer. Okay, he passes. So we win the first round. And then there's nothing we can actually... Oh, I guess we use it on a certain round for that. So we won the first round. And whoa! Whoa! Hell, Heimdall. Really? Heimdall? Seriously? Chicken turns into Heimdall? With the time of the white frost comes, Heimdall shall sound the call for battle. Nice. Well, in which case, we'll go ahead and... Chicken again. And that'll be it. Oh my goodness, Ceres. All right. He's got a beat eight. Oh, she pulls the battle man. Wow. That's awesome. I want that card. We'll pass this turn. He can win this one. Because we'll get Heimdall and... Is a bit broken? Feels like it, yeah. And triggered for two more. Aw. Wait, what? Oh, he killed himself. Well, that was dumb. We lost because uh, the ability killed itself. Unless he, ha unless he doesn't have an extra power card here. Oh, we might as well stay in the battle. Who knows? We'll play it again. But he scorched himself. So if he has any card that's more than one power. Oh, that'll do it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Alright. Interesting. Alright. We're going to need to refactor the deck a bit here. It's fine. We're, we're learning how the deck works. I'm not Welcome back. Welcome back. Win more monies. Here we go. Hey, Chris Engine, how's it going? Oh, I meant to do full monies. Whoops. Not ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. We might lose again and we'll just have to get our money back later. Um, but yes, the Shield Maidens. We don't have Ceres, which is why I think if we beat him, we might get Ceres. Um, so maybe it's best if we just do Nilf Guardian deck against this guy for right now. Just so we can actually beat him. That Ceres card was insane. Um, but if we had the Dragon, that would have worked out well. We'll give it one more go. We'll give it one more go with this deck before we change it. Let's give it one more go before we change it. Because, again, it, it, we only got some cards out of the draw, not all of them. Good, 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 good. Can change. Good, good, good. All right. Vesemir, sorry. Nope. Okay, I have, to, I have to get rid of that clear weather. I gotta get clear, rid of the clear weather. It's not useful. All right, get the chicken out there. We'll draw next, but get the chicken out, no matter what we need the chicken. Ooh, fish and chips for lunch today? Nice. Very nice. Steer yourself. Go ahead and draw. 
Nice. We got him this time. We have two of these that are, uh, can pull two friends, so this is now 12 power and 12 power. These two work together, making them both 12, making it 24 power with both of them on the board. Very good. We're going to wait until these guys go full bear form, then we can kill them. I mean, we can always just wait, but we can, it's fine. Um, in the meantime, we will... Yeah, let's just go for... Well, I mean, we can just take one turn of both of these with that to take them. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll use the uh, the Clan on Crank Warriors. With both of them down, he might score... Well, maybe not. There's now 16s. Perfect, he can't Scorch us now. And we can still Scorch him. So we can get ourselves up to 12. Oh, wow, he's pulling in a bunch of friends, okay. All right, this makes me want to play Full Test, right? Because if we were playing Full Test right now, Northern Realms, we could just decimate the middle line. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll play the uh, the Clan uh, Demon Pirate. Demolish the two bears. Gwent's life? I mean, definitely feels like we're going to be doing a lot of Gwent right now. Yeah, I saw that coming though. Skellige's ability is on the third round. Two from your graveyard come back to the board. You don't choose which, though. Alright, we'll go with the long ships for this round. But yeah, we're doing a bunch of Gwent tournaments right now. It's the last of the quest line we need to get done. The 8 power. I see, I see. I don't want to play any of these anymore. I'm done playing these. I, uh, we, can, we can let him win this round. That's fine. We have six cards remaining. He's got three. Uh, he can let us tie, or he can win. Okay, he'll win. Perfect. He only has two cards remaining. And we get Heimdall. So we should easily crush him in this round. Oh, and he's just going to pass. Excellent. If he's just going to pass, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play uh, Brina Br Bran. Skellige must be must have a strong king. I don't know what it takes. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and we'll use her to bring back the chicken. And we'll then we'll end the turn. So we keep Heimdall, and then both of us are going to get two of our cards back. For round three. Oh, he's going to scorch himself again. Oh no, he's going to scorch everyone that's six power. Uh, we'll bring you back. Oh no, he scorched himself. Order of Operations, he scorches himself first. I should have brought back a power six. It's fine, we have Heimdall to deal with it. But now I know, no matter what, if he ends up pulling himself, and he's uh, power six, he uh, or he's always going to find our side of the field killed first before theirs. Apparently, our side of the field is drawn first. That really sucks, but it's fine. We've got him. There's no way he can win. He doesn't have the power with two cards. No. He's trying. He's fighting. Get Dandelion in here. Get her up to a power four. And you're gonna sunny day. Oh, okay. One more, uh... One more shield maiden. That's okay. We can just blam. Okay. Do we get Ceres from this guy? That'd be amazing. Yeah, he can still shuffle cards into the deck if he wanted to. Oh. Perfect. Round one, combat one. Poof. What we get? We got a card. What card did we get? Olaf. Olaf. Olaf, bear. Whoa! What? Many have tried to defeat Olaf, but wouldn't hear about it, uh, but won't hear about it from them. They're all dead. <gasps> oh yeah, Olaf was the bear that we had to fist fight. You guys remember that when we were on Skellio? We had to fist fight Olaf. I remember that. Oh my goodness, Olaf, you're going straight in the deck. Get in there. Who are we dumping for Olaf? Um... 
Might just leave everyone in for now. Oh, we'll, we'll drop this clear weather. It's been worthless for us. Let's drop that out. Yeah, uh, that was like a few days ago. That was like a few weeks ago. <laughs> but yeah, we had to fist fight it all off. That's right. Oh, that was a great card to get. That was a great card to get. All right, the next one. Animal way, everyone. Urgent Gwent. We have Urgent Gwent quests. We need to get this done in two in-game days. Or else all is lost. Man. Welcome. Herbs freshly picked, dried powder. Whatsoever your heart desires. A lot more like Brolop. I know, right? Right? Yeah, we only have two days until the Gwent tournament starts up. So we need to get we need to get as many or all of these cards that we can prior to the Gwent tournament starting. Herbs schmerbs. But how about some <laughs> fresh day? Schmerbs, who cares about your plants? You do it's time to throw down. It's time to duel. Alright, let's go ahead and let's play another one of these. Let's see if we can get Olaf's turn. You will go first. Good, good, good. Oh my goodness, we've been getting copy each time. It's great. Oh, we got Yen for resurrection. We only have two medics in the deck, mind you. I will definitely drop you. <laughs> well, there we go. Both medics. Ask and you shall receive. I will drop Vesemir. I don't think there's anything else I want to drop out of the pile right now. Oh, oh, oh. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, okay. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. Come on, but look at this hand. This is a really good hand. We're crushing it. We're crushing it. Come on, Apo. Pretty low card numbers. True, true. But we'll get this around. Hydrate, you got it. The card numbers are low, but he's going to summon two of his friends, and he's going to summon two of his friends. So this is 12, and this is 12. And then we can bolster them from being 24 to being 48 with this guy. And we have the ability to use the storm, so then they end up being uh, 2 and 2. So then 4 and 4 and 24, uh, while all of everyone in these ranges end up being 1s. So we, we can turn it around. Easy. So we'll play with the uh, Oncrate Warrior first. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of good delay tactics uh, to ensure we have more options than him, which is brutal. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we'll play the Gaunter. Oh, Geralt of Rivia, you monster! How dare you play me? She's mean. <laughs> She's playing my card. Okay. Well, we're just going to go and horn these guys this turn. See what you're going to do. You have Siri as well? Seriously? What? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm worried about playing this because a Scorch will clear out all six if we play this card. Oh, man. Would Gwent be breaking the fourth wall? Uh, kind of, sort of. A little bit. Um, I don't want to play any of these. Yeah, I think we just take this L. I think you're right. I think we just take the L. Just get rid of these two cards. They're insane. They're throwing Siri and myself on the field? Ugh. It's okay. We have Heimdall. <laughs> We're all right. Get in there, Heimdall. Get in there. Ships. I can call some ships. Uh, but first, go ahead and bring the chicken back. Return, chicken. We need you for another Heimdall. Return. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll play you. Perfect. 25. We've got four cards. They've got three. And they're passing. Perfect. They're going to take the L. Excellent. So now we're all tied up. So we're going to we're going to each mystically magically get two cards back. We didn't have the, we didn't play the guy who scorched himself. So we should at least have two spare cards this time. Excellent. They're actually the best ones we could get too in terms of power. <laughs> oh my goodness. You've got to be literally kidding me. How? How? 
How's that fair? Alright. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll play Yennefer. Oh, Scorch, of course. Genius. We'll play Brianna. And with the power of Brianna, we'll be able to go and we'll just play a, a Gaunter. Perfect. Go Maiden. Genius, we'll go ahead and we'll Scorch. Burn them down. Burn the sails. Get Berserker. We're just going to pass. He literally can't beat us at 8. There's nothing he can do. Not a single card that can beat us at this point. A good card, but not good enough. Alright, she's done. We beat her. That was a close call for a moment there. What we get from her? Under crowns and... Mardrum oh, we got more, um, more drugs. That makes perfect sense to get from the herbalist. <laughs> from the herbalist? What card did you win? Uh, the one that makes berserkers go berserk the drugs? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Alright, where do we need to go now? It looks like we're going out of the city, is that right? No, far side of the city. Then we have two down here and one over there. Okay, so we'll go to the far side of the city, teleport to here, run to here, run to here. Actually, no, we'll teleport to here first, because we can just grab it, teleport, get over here, grab these two, teleport from here, back to here. All right, we can get it done in the two days. The two days, a lot of time. Barely. But it's going to be a run. We just got to get these four more, uh, four more quests done before the two day mark goes by. It's only been, I think, like three in-game hours, so we're good so far. Greetings. Greetings. Out of my way, ma'am. Geralt. Geralt Rivia is on an important mission. We must catch them all. We need to have the most spectacular deck possible. Hello? Ah. Uh. Loot? Drunk out of the way. I'm trying to get my loot. Listen. You have a problem. I have a problem. Oh. Contract on the winter. That's right. I left this here. That's a really good drawing of us. Nice. It's that's a, that's a really good drawing. That's right. I, I forgot we left that stuff there because uh, we didn't loot it because we were over encumbered. I don't want drunks. Alright. 100 strides away from our destination. Um... It's a nice thing, uh, it is a nice thing the game tells you who will give you the cards for beating them. I know ranked. Although this would be a nightmare. I wish IRL was that nice. Oh my goodness, imagine if it was. Wow, okay, we're... Sorry for just busting in on a, on a flop house. Sorry about that. Step into my parlor, my good sir. What brings you to Tucson? Tell me. Let's call it business. Ah, then. A professional journey. Nothing but work, tension, unfamiliar beds. One needs a way to relax at times. Perhaps my curse could help you. Um, sounds interesting. Uh, looking to relax and enjoy myself. Cozy, yeah, cozy place you got here. Cozy place you got. I'm pleased you noticed. <laughs> you see... When I had set aside enough to found my own establishment, I wished it to be not a bawdy house, but a bawdy home. A place where patrons would not simply come, drop their hosts, then flee as soon as the girl rolled over. Here, the sheets do not reek of sweat, the beds have no bed bugs, and the wine is not watered down. It is a place where one longs to linger. To chat, brought in a comfortable chair, to light a pipe. All after paying a modest fee, of course. Of course. All right, uh, cool and all, but more importantly. Interested in the unusual. Got a special request. Just need to keep this between you and me. You know, well, I shouldn't. Hey, who cares? How might I help? Gwent, you play? Right? <laughs> He's like, you addicted to this too? 
This this drug of all drugs. I want to be discreet. Don't want anyone to know I'm running around playing hand after hand with all these different people. They'll, they'll get the wrong idea of me. Carol, that was so shady to ask. Good gracious, man. That witcher's rather handsome. Yeah, no worries, Badger. We're good. All right. Uh, oh, she's playing Squ she's playing Squirtle deck. Interesting. All right. Um. All right. Good. 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 Oh, great. Oh, X. Oh my good gracious. Yes. Um. Yeah, we're fine. I don't think we change anything on this. <laughs> this is it's a killer hand. Bringing in a brigade recruit. Well, we'll play the chicken. I mean, we've picked this up every single fight so far. We've managed to draw this out of the 31 cards. It's pretty insane. So who does Olaf buff? Uh, Olaf buffs everyone in his row. Uh, and we can put him in front line or mid line, which is really cool. Why did you de- what? Why'd you decoy that one? <laughs> um, alright. Uh, play Dandelion. Dandelion can only buff Olaf, and Dandelion can only be in the front row. So we'll put Olaf in the front row. What? What strategy is this? Remember, we buffed, uh, in, in the game settings, you can set Gwent difficulty, and we have it set to the highest difficulty. What? Is this play? What's she trying to do? We can, like, Olaf is the only one affected by this horn. So we're gonna do the same thing anyway. I'm so confused. I don't understand. Well, we'll play Siri. We just have to win this round. And if we don't win this round, will we push her all the way to the end where she has no cards left in hand? We'll win the following round because we'll be able to pull two cards out of our graveyard. Hjalmar? We have the Hjalmar is a mid-range fighter when he's, he uses a sword. I don't know how that works. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Powerful card. Powerful card. Now let's go ahead and let's get the chicken back up here. Go for it, her. I need the power of the chicken. Nice. Hjalmar is a jump man. It's true. Alright. Um... Army just wants to pass. Right? Like. Sure. We can get rid of that. Okay. She'll bring it back. Okay. <laughs> she still doesn't have enough strength to take us down. I don't know what she's doing. Um. Decoy the chicken, I guess. We're just gonna delay. See what else she's gonna do. We just have to win the following round, so we just have to burn her out. We just need her to play all of her cards on this turn. And the decoy gives us two free turns. Uh, well, one turn for the card and one turn for replaying the initial card. Gives us a little bit more to play with, so we can see what she's playing with here. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll weather. Skunga Storm! Which knocks out the mid and back line. She doesn't have a clear weather. Yeah, her hand is just atrocious. Alright, Olaf. I mean, get in there. Can't buff anyone. Oh, we can buff the chicken! Nice. Oh yeah, and there's that guy again. That's her hand. That's it. That's it. That's over. What? She Okay, she must have just drawn really, really poorly. She had to have. There's nothing else that could have caused that problem. That was ridiculous. 69 to her 39. She's no chance. That was so weird. 69? Yeah, nice. Especially at a, at a, at a brothel? We, we won with 69? Nice. Alright, what will we win? It's a brand new... More drugs. A classic. It makes sense. Again, we're, you know, we're at a brothel. People are imbibing and things. Yeah, that, that, that does hit the mark, right? Feels about right. Let's get over here uh, to pick that up. 
You've come to the right place. All right. The memes are strong with this one. It's just true. It's true. Let's go hop up here. That's Daisy's. Nice. Captain's Log? You looking for Captain's Log? Captain's Log. Stardate unknown. Geralt is currently on a mission. A mission of utmost importance. That. To complete his deck. To ensure the victory in the upcoming tournament using a brand new faction. The faction of Skelliger. One of mystery and wonder. One of hardship. And other words that feel meaningful that I can't think of right now. We have currently gone and collected uh, the recent missing three cards. We just need to pick up three more. Within one day's time. Before the tournament begins. Where are we? Oh, it's a tavern. Once we've completed this task, we continue on with the main mission. Greetings, sir. What is it you need? Hmm. Had wine on my mind all day. What kind? Red? White? Rosé? Dry? Semi-dry? Sweet? How heavy? What the appellation? Hmm. I'll need to think about oh it. Oh my good gracious. <laughs> We'll start with the white wine, and we'll eventually make our way to the reds. And tell me about the area. Tell me something about the area, would you? Hmm. What's there to tell? That the master of these lands, Monsieur de Bobo, is the greatest buffoon in all Tucson? Hmm. Uh, yeah. Already had the pleasure. Yep. Or the pain, more like. Yeah. Very true. Uh, counter? No, no, no. We, we're on a mission. I need that quit. You know, cards. Uh, back to work. Can't have the phone out anymore. Aw. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so you'll chat over Discord after work uh, or tomorrow. All right. I got you. See you around, Carcinogen. Her shirt. Awfully um, unscandalous. Oh, yeah. Very unscandalous. Wait, yeah, yeah. Maybe we could play around. Her shirt is very modest, Please, in fact. Find that beast. Yeah, so we've picked up... Uh, we had only one at the start, but now between the... Um, the herbalist and the flop house. We uh, are at three. Not useful for our build, though. Oh, we're not playing with. Uh, we're not doing a drug build. <gasps> a Northern Realm full test deck. Oh no. Okay. Scorch. Good. 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 Oh my goodness! This draw. This draw. Yes. A truly powerful one indeed. I uh, will drop one Scorch. I don't want that. Oh my good gracious! Yes. Done. No chick. Ooh, true no chicken. True no chicken, but we're hoping we can pull the chicken with him. If he can pull a chicken, we're good to go. All right, everyone. Fingers crossed for chicken. Chicken. Ah, not quite. But if he has a spy, <gasps> Taylor. Here we go. We got a Taylor here. Taller. I think it's Taller is how it's properly pronounced, but I'll see. Come here, Taller. We need chicken or the other decoy. Oh, I only have one decoy in this deck, don't I? Well, this why are you doubling the strength of all your siege units when you don't have any siege units? Yes, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, Tyler, come on now. Oh, okay, he's he's prepping for this. I see, I see. Smart man, smart man. Ah, not quite. I don't have any more decoys. Darn. Oh, well. How's it going, Scholarly? How are you doing today? Um, uh, your wife is high right now. Oh, no. Uh, oh, on oxygen to kidney cells. Oh, no. Hopefully she's, hopefully that passes quickly. Uh, Shark behind you asking how you're playing Witcher with no hands. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you're, when you're, you're dealing with, when you're in the state she's currently in, perfectly valid question. Perfectly valid question. But that is hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Scholarly? Good to see you again. Let's go ahead and let's play Vesemir. Let's bolster up and try and win the front. Uh, oh my goodness, got a Philippa Eilhart. Okay. Alright. Alright then. Uh, in which case, we'll go for the long ships. Gonna get a jump up here. As long as he plays people in the midline instead of the front to the back, we'll be okay. I mean, come on. Chucks down a roach? Seriously? 
All right, uh, we'll go ahead and we will play, I mean, let's go ahead and let's put Hjalmar in. Oh my good gracious, he, like, what? She has like a perfect deck. Look at this deck, it's insane. All right, we'll counter with our own Geralt. Jeez, what is this? Come on, catapult, okay. Don't worry, we have the Skellige Storm to knock out the catapults uh, going forward. Uh, we'll play Siri. We still have seven cards each. We're still a ways out from the end of this. <laughs> really? As you can see, we only take half. <laughs> we still oh, round it down, it seems. Um, lose half. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will power up. Putting us back to normal, except for rounded down. So odds are rounded down by one, but everything else is normal. <laughs> he uses that to give Dandelion one point. Okay, all right, sure, why not? Why not, okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll scorch the big bad boy in the back. Got five more cards. Got a medic, okay, he'll just bring it right back. All right, all right, that's fine. Using it then as opposed to anything else, that's fine. I will go ahead and we'll use you to do the same thing. Perfect. <laughs> Clearing him. Still 20 up. Oh my goodness, okay. Medic again. Never mind. Here, here he comes again. Back again, round three. It does mean that uh, in round two, when we're playing, uh, he won't be able to bring him back. Uh, we'll go ahead and we will horn the center line. Because Dandelion's already horning the front line. Getting us up to 87. Getting us a good lead again. And he's going to pass here. Perfect. He has three cards. We have three cards. We can put these two in the front line and use this one to demolish the mid and back line's power. But I think we got this. Who's going first? Him? Hopefully. Ah, dang. It's us going first. Okay. We'll go with the uh, Uncrate Warrior. Clam Uncrate Warrior. Go. Scor Scorch! You're scorching that? Wow, I'm glad we didn't do Olaf first. Jeez. All right, we're just going to go and do the storm first, then. <laughs> Olaf's getting played last year. Okay. All right, Olaf, get in, uh, in mid-range. Why not? All right, we pass because we're out of cards. He had two scorches. Or she had two scorches. She had two scorches. What a round two. <laughs> what a round two. Hunter crowns. <gasps> we got Ceres. Oh, yes. All right. Time to change up our deck. Time to change up our deck. Wow, we have not picked up. Uh, we haven't. We haven't gotten you at all. Yeah, what are the, those strategies were um, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll go drop you. We'll drop Vesemir. As much as I don't want to, we will drop Vesemir. And we're going to grab Ceres. And we're going to grab the Shield Maidens that we have so far. And then we just need to get the last Shield Maiden. Um, so there's one more Shield Maiden and then one more similar card. Yeah, que questionable strategies. <laughs> I mean, they're on the hardest difficulty for play, so I don't know what's going on. Let's get to build red vineyards. Off we go. Two more cards to gain, and we're off to the races. We win this tournament, maybe. Uh, so far, we're doing okay with the Skellige deck. It's not really my preferred style, but it, it definitely has uh, some charm to it, that's for sure. Uh, we'll, we'll beat up this uh, this tournament. We'll jump right back on to uh, catching this greater vampire. Or problems there with. Save Skellige for the win. True, true. Let's go save up. Good call, good call. We've, we've made some great progress. We do not want to lose it from <laughs> falling down a cliff, instantly dying, and having to redo the fights. Smart. Whoop. Ups the daisies, Geralt. Up that little bank. 
Oh, I know where we are. We're at this place. They had a little banquet here. They're literally everywhere. But the wife, she went berry picking once, came back to say she'd seen walls midst the trees. And did she not go back to Ravage? See if there was treasure to be had? No. I told her there might be treasure, there might not be. Monsters, though, they'd be for certain. Best not venture close. Smart man. You lads are all the same. All right, innkeeper. Welcome to my humble establishment. What land do you hail from? <sighs> Been on the road so long, don't know how to answer that. Let's just say I'm from the north. Ah, is it true what they say about the war, death, destruction all about? Exaggerated. Not by much, though. Oh, forgive my asking about my family in Edam, see? So, I'm curious. But please, do tell me what I can do for you. Yeah, she definitely doesn't have a Toussaint accent, that's for sure. You're right on that. Uh, you're currently using a no-fall mod to roll uh, <laughs> to roll over with falling, because the physics are questionable. Yeah, Geralt dies from very, very short falls. Got family in Edern, huh? Yeah. Mentioned you have a family in Edern. Whereabout, if you don't mind my asking. In Vengeberg. You've been there, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, number of times. It's the hometown of my... Mm, friend, let's say. <clears throat> At any rate, pretty town, Vengerberg. Also didn't suffer too much during the invasion, from what I know. Oh, that is a relief to hear. A weight off my shoulders, I tell you. Play much Gwent? Up for a quick match, maybe? He rather said he was. I should have listened. I forgot to... I muted myself to blow my nose and did not unmute. Nice. Man, that's two microphone fails today. Oof. Well, you know, there you go. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Uh, this is a decent deck. We got the chicken again, which is great. The hand is okay. It's not perfect. But you're going to have to rely on Clan Dimmon now. Streaming hard? Oh, yeah. Streaming hard or hardly streaming, am I right? We're gonna stick with this hand, though. It's not the best. Definitely not the worst. We are probably gonna want to put a couple more decoys in the deck just to help avoid this issue where they're gonna keep rolling more and more guys in here and there's not much we can do. The Gaunter is bad, don't you? Uh, don't you only have one? Yeah, I only have one of them. Oh, you're right. I should have dropped him. I only have one. You're right. You're right, because I swapped them out for the Shield Maidens. I should have dropped it. 100% right there, Badger. I will go ahead and we'll scorch you. Blam! <laughs> Get out of here. Be gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Blam! Be gone. Try again, sir. Try again. Okay, that one can stay. Yeah, this card's actually bad. I should swap this out for Bessemir, because then it would at least be a power 6 as opposed to a power 4. Ha! Ah, bad timing on the dragon. Um, We're going to go ahead and... Oh, not, not you. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to power up the, the midline here. I think we're going to pass. Power up the front. I think we're going to pass here, and I'm perfectly fine with losing the first round. They'll have to play at least one more card to put him on par with us. Oh, or two. Oh no, it's just one. That's right, he has this. Perfect. But now we have Heimdall. 
Now we can bring him back with the chicken. Okay, we got a Fringilivigo. Excellent. So we have more cards than him, and he doesn't have any more... Um, or she doesn't have any more... Uh, I keep getting confused to look here. Um, she doesn't have any more spies. Because normally the AI will play them first. Uh, so we can play a spy if we want to start drawing. And I think we will. Because if there's anything else in the front line, the dragon will take it out. Or we get a Scorch. That works too. Are you going to decoy it? Well, that's awkward. Uh, it did give us what we needed to to get our own spy though. So we now have one additional spy. So you can keep drawing a few more cards. If I can get that decoy. Or if I get Siri. Hey, here we go. Uh, so we just have to keep in mind, she has one spy in hand. Not much she can do with it, but she does have a spy. Uh, we just want to win this round, so we'll go and play Siri. I think we've got this. Yeah, I, I think that uh, taking that spy was all we needed to ensure our victory. Yeah, because the spies can give us a power nine. Um, what happened to the chicken? I thought I brought the chicken back. Oh, no, I brought him back. That's right. Let's bring the chicken back now. Come back your chicken. Perfect. Hey, King Zenos. How are you doing today? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. That's a fun emote. I like that a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go play with the Skelgastorp. Rain and fog. Down to a power of two. Oh, they just passed? <laughs> okay. Um, I didn't need to do that. Didn't need to play the Skellige Fog. That's fine. We'll still win anyway. We've got Heimdall, four cards. We've got a Scorch and a potential Scorch. Oh, we actually brought him back. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, so we have Heimdall and... I guess we must have gotten Yennefer? Or, no, not Yennefer. We must have gotten the Emetic. So we got him to draw two cards, which we got Saris. We easily beat this, and then we got the medic. So we're just gonna we're just gonna use him. Yeah, we got the medic. Bam. Easy. <laughs> so I just couldn't see what this is. Unlike uh, in Slay the Spire, where we have a button that makes it so we can see the field in its current state. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we just crushed her. She's got no chance. Oh my goodness. She's got a couple more cards. Yeah, sure, fine, but... Pff. Nothing we can't use. Get in there. <laughs> Nine more power? Sure. Sure, why not? Yeah, just give me more power. Give me the power. Alright, let's launch it in. Young Emissary. Emissary. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Saris here. Bring in her two ladies. Which bolster each other to a power of eight. Oh my goodness. Crushed. By the power of Grayskull? Yeah, no kidding, right? Uh, we don't want to Scorch. Scorch removes this guy. We can just drag in for reassurance. I can't use it to kill anyone, but we're just sure that we'll win. Yeah, if we were able to wait, could have then just burned this guy here. That's fine. One card left, and he's 59, and she's 59 behind. Good luck. Yeah, no way. No way. That spy was so good for us. All right, what we get? Crowns and a brand new. Ermion! Oh, we got the druid, Ermion. Ooh. Trace the information of all Berserker cards in the same row. Get him in the deck. Got to Gaunt of Dim. I think, honestly, I'm tempted to drop these uh, clan on crate. Because they require us to have all three of them, or at least two of them, to make them strong. But if we drop those, 
And then we go for the Berserker, which is mid. Yeah, so we go for Berserker and we do... I guess we can leave one in. We still need a six power. You wouldn't go Berserkers if you don't have a Berserker deck? True. Romeans are such a powerful card. I mean, the thing is, these Berserkers are good. Let's go ahead and let's just do... Let's just do this. A small bit of Berserkering. Worst case scenario... They're about the same power. Oh no, he's he's front, not mid. Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> this only works with the uh, the young berserkers, not with the regular ones. Never mind. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll take him out. We'll take him out. We'll put this back in. Put this clan on great warriors back in here for now. Yeah, no. Oh, or a decoy. Hey, now we're talking. Yeah, let's get another decoy in here. We could definitely use three decoys. We could drop one of you. Oh, no, we can't. No, we can't. Oops, wrong button. Out of there. Out of there. In here. Sorry, we can't do that. Because there are different sets. Uh, is there a different special card you want to drop? I don't need two Scorches. We've got one card that does that. Let's drop that. Swamp Guy? Which swamp guy? Uh, did you have the other card uh, that you were gonna drop right? Swamp guy? Oh, the um, you're right. Oh no, we, we already dropped him. Yeah, we already dropped him. Uh, the gaunt, the gaunt of dim darkness. Yeah, we already dropped him. All right. Hey, what's that? All right, last one. Give me all you got, good sir. Gwent. Interested in a round or two? Justin, jewel encrusted Galligaskins. Alright, let's do this. Rage. All right, he's also doing full test for powering up his siege. Two decoys. <laughs> nice. Uh we'll go ahead and we'll drop the shield maiden. Oh, what a draw. What a draw. Because she brings out all the shield maidens. Summons all shield maidens from the deck in hand. Beautiful. Like, tempted to drop Triss to see if we can get something better, but... Honestly, this is a pretty good hand. And how do we always get all of our medics? That's crazy. Yeah, we'll hold this. We'll just play out these three with Triss on round one, and then round two we'll just demolish them. Really? Well, that's fine. Does this bolster up? So now he can't actually scorch us. So he's going full backline, I see. Interesting. Alright. Let's get a chicken up there. And the horn, really? Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and let's just clear this, and then we'll end our turn. We've got six cards remaining, but we should be able to draw them down. Oh, yeah, Philippa, here we go. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is we're just going to... We're, since he's not playing any um, spies, we're just going to grab him back and scorch this one. Wait, what? What? Okay. Interesting. Sure. Why not? All right. Scorch. You gonna play any other cards? Maybe he doesn't have any uh, actual units. Oh, he's got a Geralt. Okay. Okay. I think with that, I'm just gonna end here. He'll get one more card, so he'll be at four because he's playing Northern Realms. 
Should be able to smoke him next round once we have Heimdall, though. And we don't have the, uh, the Frost in the Fog. Frost in the Fog's not really going to affect any of the remaining cards that we have, but it should just ensure that it's going to struggle. Draws the next one. He's got four cards now. On his turn. And he just passes. Perfect. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll play you. Uh, for the chicken. Uh, and then we're going to bring you back. Nice. There it is again. And we get two more. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, come on! This Scorching guy is just a nightmare. Could you decoy that card? Uh, no, no, he, he just scorches himself immediately. We could have decoyed the Scorch guy, but the thing is that he just keeps killing himself. Oh, the 11? No, he's got the, uh, if they have this banner here, they can't be affected by anything. They're immune to all effects. They might have their own effects, but they're immune to all effects. So, weather doesn't affect them, uh, Scorch can't be used, it just skips them, as if they're not there. But we have two medics, so we can bring that guy back again. All right, let's get the Shield Maidens. There we go. Just need a Scorchable person. Unfortunately, it's not a Scorchable person, because these are eights. It's okay, we can just get the uh, Clan on Crates member in here. Horn, really? Ooh. I think he's in trouble. All right, Yennefer. Let's pull the little remaining clown crate warrior. 77 power. We're done. Can't play anything else. What you got? <laughs> A clear weather. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who you're boosting, but all right. All right, cool. Uh, literally no one, in fact, turns out. Literally no one. All right, I have all the uh, I have went problems achievement unlocked. What? Come on! The last one was the shield maiden. Achievement unlocked. I have went problems. Collect all the cards in the Skellige deck. Okay, game. Rude. Rude. Let's see how it is. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll add we'll add the last shield maiden here. Perfect. Wow, that's the whole deck. There's three young Berserkers, one regular Berserker. That's it for the Berserker side of the deck. It feels kind of not worth doing. Man, we've not gotten um, full geared, like, at all. But hey, yeah, you draw what you draw, right? Okay, so that's good, that's good, that's good. I like that. We might drop Dandelion, honestly. A lot of our power is in mid. The shield main is bringing up close. We have nothing in uh, far back. That's good. The only weather cards we have are those, which makes perfect sense. I don't need any other weather cards. Yeah. I think we're good. It's time. It's time. Ah! Right, turn cards. Rolling on an empty stomach. Oh, dreadful. I believe the thing was down here, right? No? Went the wrong way. Yeah. Other side. Our teleport post is over here. Perfect. Tell Damien you're ready to storm the castle. No, I have an important Gwent tournament to attend to first. It's the last quest we've got. That we can do because the treasure hunt quests that don't those don't matter. Those don't matter. We've already gotten better equipment. Uh, at the Straight Zelda is going to install that mod that changes all the fights into Gwen battles. Is that a mod? You end up fighting like panthers and stuff. <laughs> is that a mod? Are you serious? 
it's like Pokemon battles when you run into things, but it's uh, in, in it's like encounters, but it ends up being like Yu-Gi-Oh as soon as you end up uh, getting there or Magic. Everything's settled by a Magic the Gathering game. It's time to throw down. Grab your cards. Let's see what you're made of, Panther. Oh, save first. Very smart. Very smart. Nice call. To send a witcher against the beast. All right. What's new, Silverlocks? I am ready. Leave me in peace, Witcher. Oh, that's right. We have to wait two days. Wait two days. Whoops, daisies. Uh, we'll just hang out here. Don't don't you mind us. So one. Uh, actually, we'll just go all the way to here. Noon. We're almost. Hello, everyone. And one more day. Okay. All right, sir, I'm ready. Greetings. What? Follow me. Leave me in peace, Witcher. Still not ready? Ah. I uh, can't remember. Can remind you how uh, does recharging potions work exactly? Uh, in other games, you had to do stuff. In this game, you just meditate, and some of your infinite quantities of alcohol is consumed. Because um, if we go to... <laughs> give it a second. Here. Right, is it in other? This is just all the books. My goodness, they don't want to load. It lags hard. Um, is in crafting? Yeah, it's in crafting. So in alchemy over here, it just uses your alcohol. Which I've got six. I've got ninety-six more recharges with this one. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and change recharges with dwarven spirits. Um, yeah, I've like I've, I've got plenty. Go to noon. See if that works. There we go. Perfect. Oh, he's downstairs? What? What did up here for him? He's in the tavern. I see, I see. Join the tournament. Wait, then he need changing. Leave her the fuck alone. Do my sis. Four factions since time immemorial, Gwent's had, and it's a bugger and stay that way. Dwarves are not happy with the change. They're actually, if they're. Gwent was perfected by dwarves for centuries of play. Not about to accept some new bloody faction. Wait, centuries of play? Greetings, Greybuff. Centuries of play? What are you talking about? Guess we're supposed to go up here through this door? I don't know what they're talking about. Like, Geralt and Ciri and, and Triss and Yennefer are in here. What do you mean, centuries? What nonsense is this? Our sweet shining sun. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction. How do you find them? Interesting. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll flatter him. That's fine. It's great. Faction's a pleasure to play. I'm glad to hear it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Sure. Superb Gwent players all. Hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbari, an Ofieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. You blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, damn it. Uh, Naturally, no offense meant. Agnetha Scott, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. 
Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match and you're eliminated. Oof. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the tourney's previous edition. His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hinn. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hand off our great! No new fucking factions! Uh, yeah, protesters? Yeah, what, what, what are we doing about that? Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Maria, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Okay. Um, yeah, what factions everyone else playing? Mind telling me what factions the others will be playing? It is no secret. Eric van Frog will play the Northern Realms. Okay. His Excellency, in a flush of patriotism, chose right. Nilfgaard. Hamal Ochendagbali will play the monster deck. And All right, so every, every faction has cool. chosen Skoyatel. Yours truly, of course, shall await the winner with a Skellige deck. I am determined to prove its value. Interesting. All right. Hey, Trisek, how's it going? Nope, not yet. I've not. I've not seen it yet. It's on my list, but it'll have to happen on the weekend. Uh, let's begin. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Are we reload to win, or are we doing this one shot? I'll probably reload to win. In round one, Agneta Skult faces Eric von Brog, and Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. But I have a feeling I won't need to reload. Let's grab a table. A wager would you wish to make? What did you have in mind? Weapons do I collect? Tell your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose to you another equally precious shall I give? Yeah, I'm in. All right. So be it. All right. Uh, I don't think there's any changes we're making to the deck because we have the uh, three shield maidens in, so I think we're just good. Remind it's... yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Come on, Badger. Come on. We've got this. We've got this. We can one shot this. We have the power of changing fate if things go wrong. I think we got this. This is a monster deck. We just need to get a frost, which I don't have in the deck. Ah, okay. We'll just have to sort that out. That's fine. Oh, oh well, we have the dragon, and we have a bad draw otherwise. The dragon, uh, we will drop the shield maiden. Uh, that's actually worthless, too. Ugh, that's actually pretty bad. Should be a bad draw. We got a Siri at least. Against monsters, this is pretty bad. Eh, I guess we could have used the storm. It still would have hindered us more than them. Uh, the power of the dragon is going to be the most important thing here. Uh, believe in the spleen. <laughs> believe in the spleen of the cards, and you'll be fine. Okay, we'll believe in the spleen of the cards. All right, uh, let's go ahead and we'll just we'll jump out with a bang. Long ships out. Chris, really? Okay. I want to save Siri for round two if we can. Going great. The camp, really? The K ring? Okay. Huh. Not playing the monster cards I was expecting. W what's your ability over here? Move a card from your discard pile uh, to your hand. Ooh. Or restore, rather. Ooh, that's dangerous. It's a really good one. Um, we can go and scorch out, and then bring him back, and scorch out again, and scorch normally. Uh, we just need a delay right now, so we're gonna scorch because we can medic uh, back. A Skellige storm, really? 
Okay. Um, it's awkward. The skeleton of storm really messes with this. Half tempted to actually just pass. He's gonna keep one of these two if we do, though. We'll go ahead and we'll play Old Geared for now and try and continue to drag this out. You're gonna restore that to your hand. That's obnoxious. Oof. I don't wanna play any more cards. Uh, but we'll continue one more round. So we'll go Medic and back. Okay, so that bolsters both of them by one. Okay, so we got the Flutters. Here we go. So all the Vampires are going to be the same level of power four, except for the... Ah! Oh, he's got the one five. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, so I can't use you because that'll kill that. But we can Dragon off the first one. Maybe Decoy Dragon again. Dragon to start. We'll see if we can decoy and dragon again. Alright, you're just gonna pass. Brutal. Uh, let's see here. I can. We're at 8 power. It's a lot of cards to do this. But we can dandelion decoy. And we should. Alright, so we will decoy you so we can go and bring the dragon back next round. And we'll dandelion to make sure we win this round. Okay. First round down. Only four cards remaining. Keeps a Brexe. That's fine. I can't use this. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Uh, so start with Siri. It's a real pain that he kills himself, though. Crones. Good gracious, okay. That's fine. We can suicide uh, on the crones. That's perfectly fine. Go ahead and suicide on the crones. Bam! Cleared him. It's essentially a scorch at that point. Works out well. Alright. And we'll go ahead and play you. And we'll bring back Ragon since it's the most... Well, actually, or we could use this and kill that six again. Yeah. I'm going to remove that six again. <laughs> Get it out of here. All right, we're done. Uh, two cards. It's still potent. There's still potential to beat us with two cards. Oh, that's nothing. Nice. Got him. Oof. Skin of our teeth for sure, but we got him. Good match. Thanks. And upon your victory, congratulate I you. What drove me to wager a sword against you know I not. Clearly to guide me the universe ceased. Here, you may it serve well. I'd never have lost if you hadn't cheated. And my land, folk who slander like that don't live long, because we don't let them. Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monier, the contestants from Novigrad and Skellige are hereby disqualified. Wow. Gentlemen's sport. Well, I'm a lady, and we ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Well, all right. Agnetha Skolt and Eric Van Brog both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ongenvali of Ophir. In the semi-final, Geralt shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Hin. I guess they just wanted to be faster than the last uh, Gwent tournament uh, quest line. All right, so this guy's playing a Novograd deck, which is predominantly uh, mid and back line, some front. They're kind of all over the place. 
But this is when the decoys will come in handy. If we can pull our decoys, we've got him. Also, we weren't able to save between the two. This is going to be brutal. But we have a decoy. We've got a horn. We've got the chicken. We've got a medic. Ooh, we're going to have to drop one of these. We're probably going to drop these two. Everything else is fine. Yeah, drop the maiden. For Triss, good. And drop the long ship. Dang, for a maiden. Ah, <laughs> That sucks. We were hoping for Ceres. We did not get her. It's okay. Chicken time. Go, go, chicken. By the power of chicken and the power of both of our medics, again, somehow, um, we keep getting him. We'll be fine. Uh, I mean, she's just a she's just a waste at this point. So might as well play her. I mean, there's a chance that he's. I don't know. He might not have any um, spies, and if he has no spies, this is really going to get awkward really fast. Hopefully you'll draw the, your entire deck with those spies. That's the hope, but it's quite possible we won't. Okay, he scorched those. That's fine. Let's go ahead and play the shield maiden. Does he have any spies? I don't think he, I don't think he drew any spies, guys. I think he did no spies this time. That's really interesting. Uh, in which case, we'll go ahead and play Triss. Draw a card from the opponent's discard. What do you draw? Oh, he just took one of our long ships, I guess. Nothing else he could have drawn. That's the only stuff that's in there. Um, he's just trying to delay. We don't have an ability to be used, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll play you. We'll horn and we'll end. Oof, brutal. I can bring him back, though. I think I will. Uh, let's dragon first ourselves. Remove his dragon. He's got seven cards, though. I just got a let, though. Yikes. We just need to draw him down to almost no cards. We'll win round three if we can have him uh, card out. We can decoy the dragon. I think I'll can decoy the dragon here. Because we can at least kill off Dandelion. It's going to pass. Perfect. So if we go ahead and we dragon, we're at 18 tied, but then Dandelion is removed. Two, we win. Round one. Excellent. So we just need to draw out these remaining six cards somehow. I don't know how. We only have three cards remaining to our name. It's going to be tough. But if we can get it to where he's got nothing when we hit round three, we win by just drawing. Because we don't have the, um... Uh, we don't have any of the cards in here that, uh... We don't have the, uh, Clan Dimmon pirate. So he's, we're not going to scorch ourselves. Uh, he has one of those cards that, uh, is just your plus four. Yeah, he's got one of our, uh, short, uh... One of our small longships or whatever it is. He's got one of those. Um... What do we want to resurrect? Ah, chicken, of course. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get to chicken. Because that'll further strengthen our power in the final round. Alright, there's that light long ship. Um, and then what else do I have in here? I guess we'll get him... Or we'll get the dragon back. We just want as much power as we can take. So we'll get the dragon. Drag back in here. So 27. Clear weather. Okay. I think I think he's delaying. Go ahead and we'll horn. And that's as far as we can go. That's it. We're out. It's all down to what his remaining four cards are. He has to beat our 34 power. Ah, uh, no. He's got spies. He has to beat our 34 power. And then win the next round. A dragon. Brutal. Okay, so he still has to play... Okay, Triss, that's enough. He can win. Okay. Final round. We have at least 11 power on the board to start with. What do we draw out of our discard pile? Oof. Low power. Oh, we got a medic, though. We got the medic, though. 
So we can bring back the dragon for the highest amount of power. Oh no, I should have done Dimmon. Because Dimmon would have given a plus two. We would have been at 25, not 24. Should have done Dimmon. Oh, okay. I'll take that power. Thank you. Um, yeah, I should have gone with Dimmon. That was on me. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, that's BS and a half right there. Oh, we're after a load. <laughs> it seems you had a stroke of ill luck. Your Excellency played better, that's all. Stop desecrating Gwent! Get any and all new factions! Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius! Off your asses and hide this Skellige! Yeah, I love it, seal sloppers. Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier, and hands <laughs> off our Gwent. Oh my goodness. You know, what is, yeah, what exactly is the problem? Well, we're still going to go through this and find out what's going on, and then we'll reload and beat him. Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens. Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime, as rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. We talk about. Do not about? tolerate the introduction of any others. It would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. Enough of this. Didn't come here to Java, but to break fucking heads in defense of tradition. Come on, lads. So let's just go straight to combat. Oh, that was an awkward. All right, anyway, we'll go and load back in. Oh my god, look at the look at the checkpoint. It's right, but uh, we're looking through the dwarf's eyes. We're looking through his head. <laughs> um, what is this one? I think this is when I think this checkpoint is actually when we started that uh, Gwent fight with the semifinals. This will work out well. Get in there before it autosaves? Ah, no worries. There's a long list of autosaves. We're good. But I want to see what... I, I want the story. So we we have to win all the way through because I need the story for it. The Whatever the rewards are, eh, doesn't really matter that much. We've got so much money at this point. And <laughs> we've got the best gear we can have. Yeah, I think we're at that same point. So we'll just go ahead and go. Yeah, okay, we're back in this. All right, so let's see what we got. Decoy, two horns. We'll drop one. Oh, my name's got three... This hand sucks. This hand sucks. Oh, okay, at least we got the decoy. We might be fine. We might be fine. Oh my goodness, we got help. Okay, we might be okay. We might be okay. We might be just hunky-dory. Uh, we'll start off with a shield maiden to test the water. Because I don't know what else we're going to do with it. We might be able to get Ceres. If he's got any spies, any spies at all, please. He can't scorch us now. He's got a power five. Like he did originally last time. He's got a Geralt this time. Brutal. It's okay. We do have to continue to fight this round. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a Triss in. Get a Triss in the mix. Get in there, Triss. What's he got? Oh my goodness. A Tibor. Oh my goodness. Tibor is brutal. Right, we're just going to keep pushing on this round. Um, in this case, we're going to go and bolster. He can now Scorch us if he needs to. Or if he can or if he wants to. He probably will. No! A spy. Not a spy I can use, though. Still draws. Um, pff, nothing I can clear. I don't want to use you yet, because you're going to be too powerful. Um, really, the only thing I can play with here is we're going to put a Hel Helmar in. By the way, Triss is better than Yennefer. Fight you. I oh, know, we've, we've talked about this for a sec. We've already talked about this. Okay, they're gone now. Sucks. Uh, but does mean we can get uh, Olaf in here. All right. <laughs> I need some spies. <laughs> there are no spies. Oh, we lost this. I actually should have put Olaf here. What was I thinking? Back over here, Olaf. He's not playing any spies, so I'm just gonna grab Olaf back. Dandelion. 
But actually, while I have Olaf in my hand, I can actually go and scorch the uh, the ten. Go scorch that ten. Bam. What? Oh, he just becomes a twelve. Uh, yeah, I don't. That was a bad. That was a bad round. I mean, we might still win, but I don't think we can. That was just bad. I mean, we can. S we can actually we win this. Somehow. We just win that round. If he has if he has any spies, we can still turn this. Okay, right, yeah, he just went with the tie. Yeah. Alright, what do we get in the last round? What do we draw out of the deck? Come on, Olaf. Come on, Olaf. I hate this card so much. I hate the I hate I hate that card so much right now. <laughs> it's like literally the worst. He just... Round three is the worst. He constantly gets picked and just kills himself. I can't believe it. He, it happens like every time. Oh, he's got six cards. Let's see if he plays. Okay, yeah, he took a lot for a while. Yeah, yeah, okay. It seems you had a strike. Stop. All right. Uh, what's the what's what happens if we say get out? Get out of here before my patience runs thin. Hear that? Got our sights threatening us. Only one answer to verbal aggression of that sort. Once more, I beg and plead: be calm. Shut your yap, Monier. None of us. Then come here to Java, but all right. That's the same line. Okay, cool. Do we get to look through his skull again? Nope, not this time. Not this time. Alright, load. Oh, jeez, the load's slowly getting pushed down. Alright, that's not good. Checkpoint's gonna disappear soon. That's awkward. We're only gonna have so many more turns of uh, reloading this checkpoint. Ooh. Also, William James, thanks for the follow. I totally missed that a while ago. I appreciate it. Welcome. Goodness. Yeah, we just need an actual good hand. That's all it takes. We just need, like, that is the hard part about Gwent, though. Is that, while it is three rounds, since you don't get a new hand per round, it doesn't necessarily matter. Third time's a charm? Oh, you know it. Oh, you know it. Good, 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 done. Excellent. All right, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. I can't draw any cards, but do I need to? Uh, we're just gonna go into we're gonna go into the thick of things. Just go straight into the thick of things. Get Siri in there. Uh, we want him to just pile up his back line, and then we'll just slap that down at the very end. We're hoping he doesn't have any spies, but you know how it's gonna be. It's a Nilfgaard deck. <laughs> yeah. If he didn't have any spies, the hardest part is that uh, if he gets a clear weather, uh, that's gonna make this build really, really tough, or this play really hard. We're going to hold on to Ceres right now, uh, because she's going to be an absolute powerhouse for our round two. Uh, he can't Scorch us now. He doesn't have the ability to, or if he does, he's just going to kill his own guy. I'm going to play this instead. There's another spy, alright. Yeah, another spy, so he's got two spies now. We're at 51. He doesn't really have a lot of ability to take us down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to horn mid and end. I'm going to decoy that back? Okay. That's an understandable move. I'm just going to pass. Yeah. No, that, was a, that, was a, that was a reasonable move on his side. But the problem for him is, he's in a lot of trouble now. Um, because, who do we want to pull back? Would you look at that? Looks like we got ourselves a spy. Got ourselves some cards. Oh, <laughs> nice. 
decoying back. All right, I got you. I got you. That's fine. This gives us a little more power because we wouldn't have had any power otherwise, and that's just going to be another nine power on our side. But we got um, we got three of these bad boys now. Just pass. It's not a bad idea. Actually, yeah, that probably wasn't a good idea to just pass there. Because then we can rely on what we grab from two other cards in here. Yeah, let's just pass. I don't want to play him. Let's just go straight to round three. He, we also got him to play a power ten, so that worked out well. Let's just pass. We'll pull two cards out of our discard. Nice. I was hoping for the frontliners, but that's nah, fine. There, boy. We're not going to do anything yet. We're going to stagger the ones we put in. Nice. 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 Excellent. Demolished. Blam. Sit down. Very good, very good. Oh, he's going to medic one back. Eh, that's annoying, but it is what it is. We'll still be able to hit him with the tides. Um, let's go for you first. So now we're at 12, so he might scorch this. I'd rather him scorch this than what we're going to do with Ceres here. Uh, so before we do Ceres, let's go ahead and let's knock down everyone's power. It knocks down ours, but not as badly as his. Oh, what did you just take from us? I don't know what you took. Our medic. You took our medic. Alright, sir, it's all on you. As long as he doesn't have another Scorch. Or a dragon. A dragon would be really bad. A dragon or a Scorch would be bad. Any kind of Scorch power would be bad for us right now. Otherwise, we've got this. Unfortunately, I can't use the dragon to kill anything, but we'll just have to use it for what we got. So we're at 60. Got to hope he can't match it. He probably can, or he'll be able to Scorch. Oh, man. Jennifer. Okay, perfect. He, he brought back a... Aww. Oh. That's what I was afraid of. He needs to get 20 points. Oh, that's nice. That doesn't actually do anything. It's Olympus 2. He needs to get uh, 18 points. With oh, cool. Perfect. I'll take that. All right. Scorch. That sucks. We lost. It seems you had a stroke of ill luck. A stroke? It's, it seems to be constant. How are we supposed to beat this guy? Get out of my get sight. The AI uh, here is brutal. We are playing on the highest level difficulty for Gwent. It is true. It is true. Oh, man. We lost that save. It's gone now. Because it keeps checkpointing. So we've lost that save. So we're back to the quick save. We have to beat the lady now. We have to go beat the lady now. We only get three tries before we have to do uh, the lady fight again. Have you tried getting good? Uh, I've tried, but then I found out that um, it doesn't matter how good I am. It all comes down to what cards I have in my hand. If I play them perfectly, there's only so much I can do. Darn. Oh no, a game of chance. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Right. Unfortunately, I can't set a save in the middle. It's a little annoying. Because uh, it goes cinematic to fight immediately. Shuffle is, uh, is a chance. Uh, skip through. Uh, yeah, like the lots. It's fine. We'll be able to get back through this in no pro no time. She shouldn't be too bad to take out. Or he should, rather. Forgot we we're fighting that guy. Uh, you know, we asked about the protesters. And we asked about the factions. Other people are playing. And then we said, let's do this thing. We skipped along. And there's Let the thing the sometime later, the tourney begins. And... Good. Give me your sword. Alright. So be it. Give me your sword. 
Alright, so I would want to put a Frostbite in here, but we're just going to run through with the same deck. Worked well last time. We can just rely on the dragon. Scorch is good. This is good. Get rid of you. Good. We got Ceres. Perfect. So then we go and drop the Navy. We got the dragon. Excellent. All right. We got what we needed. Leading with the Triss. Leading with the Triss. I see. I see. Well, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll just lead with the boats. Okay. Kaeran. Wow, this already feels like the exact same play as last time. I wonder if they actually have the same hand that they draw every time. I'll go ahead and play the Clan on the Creek Warrior. There's that Scorch to take out the Clan on the Creek Warrior. Brutal. Okay, yeah, we can bring him back. We'll play a second one. We're going to try and save these three for the second round. Oh no, that wasn't in the last fight. Oh man. Okay. Let's go ahead and Triss. Or not Triss. Uh, Yennefer. Triss is there. Get the clan on crates. Blam. Powered up and ready to go. Alright, there he goes. Vampires. Unfortunately, he does have the one that has a 5 power on it. Makes it tough. But we can at least uh, burn out a 5. Put the dragon down. And this is kind of it. We can use a horn, but that's it. Nothing else this round. The crones as well. Wow. Ugh, oh, if only I waited. That would have been great to scorch those. That's okay. Oh, we can still horn past them. Look at that unbelievable power. A decoy? For one of the cr Why? What? 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 Why? What? Okay. I guess he's just like, I guess we lost it. We're just going to end here. <laughs> okay. You're going to pass as well? You're going to play that crone. Okay, he's going to pass. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. He got a poor power boy. Instead of one of the crones. Okay. I'll go ahead and play Hjalmar. What you got? There's the crone. We'll go scorch the crone. Because as soon as we play you, it becomes a problem. We can actually no, we can we can, uh, we can head off the paths with this here. Wait and see if there's a better choice for us to scorch. Those are cards in the discard pile. It's another crown. Perfect. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't matter because if we play this, we won't be able to scorch because then we'll be scorching our own units. And if we play this, we won't get the other crown. But we can at least get one crown. Bruets. Otherwise, it's been nice to have scorched both of them. And we'll go and play Ceres. Get the Shield Maidens in there. Thwoms! Powered up and double powered up. Nice. Alright. What's he got against this? A horn. Decent. Decent. It's up at 20 out of 92. Oh, good. Oh, the clear day. Clear weather. Whoa. Scary. Nice. Done. He wasn't too hard. Good match. Thanks. Alright. Beat him. I'll Here. take the sword. Never. Thank you. I'm You're having your cheating spat. Was... And we got Glave. The sword I actually didn't pay attention to the name last what? time. And we go straight to the next fight. But now we have a checkpoint. So we can save. We gotta go back to that save. Good, 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 bad. Good, 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 good. Okay. Bad. Bad. Acceptable. He made sure it was a lovely day uh, to get annihilated. Tr not true, true. It's all about it's all about the weather, right? All right, come on, give me a decoy. Nice. Ask, and you shall receive. We also got a dragon, which is excellent. There's only one master of Gwent, and it's Geralt. It's true, because we use time travel shenanigans to be able to ensure we win. It's not cheating. It's time travel. Totally different. I will play Triss. I don't want to play uh, the ships yet because I'm worried he's just going to scorch him. Okay, now he can't. He's playing a uh, power 10. Perfect. 
Let's get the boys in. You're gonna horn the back line. Nice, okay. I don't really want to hit with the weather yet. Uh, but I will go in with the Scorch. Draw out some of his medics. You played against this guy three times and got no uh, chicken rebirth cards. Oh my goodness, you're right. Yeah, crazy. Chicken denial. <laughs> chicken denied. Oh, it's an ancient uh, Asian technique called Chi Ting. I see, I see. You use your Chi, right? Yeah, I gotcha. I got you. Oh my goodness, that's a bad joke, Trisak. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, Alright, so we're gonna keep pushing on this one. We wanna keep pulling out his cards here. So, actually, he's giving us a spy. So we'll pull that spy. I was basically reading chat. He's got another spy. Well, I'm glad I got this one and not the, not the really expensive one. I think it has too much power. It's not great to be playing that, especially with the uh, bard over here. Oh, well, all right then. This changes everything. We can definitely go and play with the uh, with the storms in the back. See if we can pull out a clear weather. Uh, we can just go scorch, scorch that twenty. Back to eleven. Try again. Decoy. Okay. Uh, we'll be able to use the medic to get this, uh, well, hopefully that guy, that four back. Uh, we'll continue to push the matter. Should we continue to push the matter? I feel like we shouldn't. I'm going to go ahead and do... No, I'm not going to Skellige Storm. We still have 18 power here. I'm going to just end here. I, still, I don't see a point that's continuing to push. He's going to draw cards. That's fine. I don't have a decoy to pull it back. We have to wait until our medic can do it. He decoyed his medic back. And he ended. Okay. So it's nine cards to eight. But we're one round up. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw. There's four power, but no dandelion, because dandelion's now in the garbage. Giving us a dandelion and a decoy. Excellent. Because he still has, uh, um, I think he still has a spy, right? I think so. If not, we can use it on a dragon. No problems. Uh, this round, yeah, let's do this round with Dandelion. Let's get Dandelion in the front here. You've got your horn for the back line. Oh, ho, ho, look at this guy. He's so special. So much power, I see. Are we playing Skellige now? Yeah, we're playing the uh, we're playing in a tournament that requires us to play as Skellige. We have to. We have to play Skellige and we have to win Delka. Look at those super powerful back end powerhouses that can't do anything. Bam. He's down to 18 power, same as this. Good. Let's get Shalmar in there. Got the board does complicate things, so we get Siri in there. We need to keep pushing, especially if he's going to keep playing tens and the like. Clear weather, there it is. There's his play. This <laughs> is the one and only. You could use another healer. Ah, there's, I think there are only two that I can get for the deck. Oh no, the weather turned for the worst again. What happened? Scorch, okay. There's our on crate. We're still bigger than him. Um, go ahead and we'll scorch. So he'll medic this guy. So we're, we're baiting him. He's going to medic. Or he'll play Triss. Right. He's trying to bait him. He has a medic in his hand. So we'll play Geralt. Oh, I have to end my turn. Uh, well, we'll take our medic back then. I have to end the turn. Yeah, there's his medic. That's going to bring back the spy. There it is. 
That's what I was waiting for. That's why I played Geralt. I was waiting on that. That's fine. We'll use the medic to bring him back. Along with the two free cards that come back in the graveyard. Oh, you're just going to play Letho? You're going to keep pushing? Please do. I don't want you to use that next round. What are you doing? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, keep drawing. Keep giving him more power. Keep drawing. Oh! 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 What a play! I hate that card so much! I hate this card! This card's the worst! He just keeps killing himself. Dragon. Okay. That card, I swear, out of all the cards we could have picked, out of all the cards to pop back up into our hand, it had to be this one. I was like, well, I'm the strongest card on the battlefield. I'll kill myself. It's like, I hate this card so much. Uh, but it's okay, because uh, we're going to Medic. Uh, let's see. We're at 6. We need to get to 14. Uh, if we had the power of, what, 8, we could tie. Power of 9, we would win. We don't have that power. So instead, we're going to cross our fingers. Give him 4 and hope 4. Exactly what we need. And that's a win. <laughs> we got him. I know it's a true troll card. It's a real pain. Nah. Dragon won, by the way. Oh, yeah. Dragon would have killed the front line. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're 100% right. That would have won as well. Wow, that would have been the smart move. I, I played with fate. <laughs> you admire that guy? So many people uh, can boost, uh, can boast about not killing themselves more than once. I know, right? I mean, like, not many people. He does it, like, every single game. It's hysterical. But, yes, we got him. Finally. Thank your excellency. A pure pleasure to play you. The pleasure was mutual, I assure you. Congratulations, Witcher. Stop desecrating Gwent! Oh, it stops here either way. Get it all, new factions. It stops here either way. We, we can't do the finals? Scoot, Olius, off your asses and hide the Skellige. Yeah, I love it. Seal slappers. Please remain calm. And stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier. And hands off our Gwent. What a line. <laughs> what a line. Oh, listen to Matt. Of Hear him out. Threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said that ferret line kills you? Yeah, it's really good. No one ever listens. Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime. Its rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. It really isn't. Odd numbers are prime. Of any others, it would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. None of us didn't come here to Java but to break fucking heads in defense of tradition. Come on, lads. All right. Time for the fight. Oh, it's only only fist fighting? Are you serious? Oh, I can't counter him? Oh, for goodness sakes. Come on. I was trying for counters. We're just gonna have to do we're gonna have to do dodges and swings. Dodges and swings. Dodges and swings. Swing, dodge, swing, dodge. Dodge this corner, dodge the corner, dodge the corner. Swing. Oh, he's too far. Dodge. Swing. Kick. Oh, my goodness. Kick the dwarf in the face. That's just rude. Oh, we got a double hit there. That's good. Ow. Ow. No. Get him. Back up. Oh. They're coming in in doubles. Oh, my knees. Had enough. Still got the urge to add new factions. Enough. I shall summon the guard. I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another with who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else however you want, but you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks. Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says, if one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right, they could be wrong. But if multiples say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. 
Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Zoltan Chive. Haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? Well, he's doing quite well. Zoltan's doing fine. Um. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. Was in Novigrad last I saw him. Be glad to tell you more over a flask of something strong. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taking a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Sultan's pal. Gentlemen, wait. now we're talking. We've still the final round of the tourney to play. I know. Fuck that. I, Yaki Raffiberg, to hereby declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victor. We'll settle whether this Skellige faction's worth a flaming bag of shit once and for all. Agreed, but please show some patience. We must first play a pre-final. Oh no, we have to play two more times? Oh no. I was thinking about like reloading for the fight, but pre final nah. Count Monnier, representing the Skellige faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also playing with a Skellige deck. My brother's dream has come true. Skellige in the final, and played by both contestants. Good luck. All right. Same deck. Come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. We need this chicken. Oh, no chicken. Ah. Oh. Okay, decoy, good, scorch, good, horn, horn, okay with both of them. It's gonna need to drop you. He's fine, you're good. Oh, excellent, good, good. All right, so we're gonna drop the maiden. Got Triss, excellent. So here's the call. Do we drop the horn or the warrior? Cause he's on his own. No, we want the warrior to poke at the beginning of the combat. I think we drop a horn. Yeah, I think we drop a horn. Oh, what a call, Badger. Badger, what a call. Well done. Well done. All right. Let's get in here with the Clan on Crate Warrior. <laughs> Dragon round one? Um, what? Uh, all right. We'll play Triss next. We're going to wait to put him up here because right now he can't scorch because the dragon is seven. See yourself. Okay, he's drawing. That's the only one he can have. So this decoy, unfortunately, isn't going to be that useful, right? Yeah, this decoy is actually pretty useless. Eh, where? Uh, we can use it to at least bring back one if we over, uh, if we overextend. Uh, which I think I'm going to do right. Now. I don't have a medic. I really don't want to push that. We'll, we'll go with Hjalmar for now. We'll go Hjalmar, then we'll go with an on crate clan member, and then we'll stop. Unless I don't see... Okay, here it is. Ceres. All right, excellent. So we're going to be able to go and scorch this one. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, he's got all three. We can scorch it easy. <laughs> We've got power 12. I'm glad I did not put uh, Olaf in yet. Excellent. So go ahead and we'll scorch out all the maidens. Get out of here. <laughs> 53 back to 17. Oof. Brutal. He's going to horn the dragon. Putting him ever so slightly above. He's still one card above us because we started, which does make this awkward and difficult. But he's now at 14, so he can't scorch us. So we can go up to 12. He's going to long ship. Nothing I can do about those long ships. I think he has almost the exact same deck as ours, actually, looking at how this thing's put together. Um, six cards versus five cards. I don't want to get to round three. We want to win before round three if we can help it. So I think we're going to push these two remaining cards and keep Saris in the background. Um, I just don't know if he has a Scorch or not. So we'll start. We'll leave with a Siri here. And then we'll probably go for a Horn and leave it there. No, I, I really want to use the Horn. Okay, there's the Dragon. That's bad. So he's pulled the Dragon back. That's bad. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to pass. He's going to use the dragon to take out both of the Oncrate uh, clan warriors. Or he skips? What? Okay, he's going to use it for her then. That's very bad. That sucks a lot. Okay, so we're going to lose him. Oof, that was a really good call on his side. So what I can do then is we can, we can play Olaf in mid instead of in front. 
scorch it. Oh, and he's got the dragon to scorch the other. See, he could have scorched us either way. Oh, that's brutal. I was going to try and play him and then pull him back. Oof. Uh, we're just going to have to end it here. He's going to have to play something or else he loses. Okay. He's tossing. Yeah, that's, that's a throwaway card. Okay. So, final round. We're both going to draw cards from the discard. Oh, no way! Nice. He's going to play the dragon, which this works out perfectly. So he uses the dragon. Oh, I cleared your guys. Now you're in trouble, aren't you? It's like, oh, wait, was that your last Scorch? Oh, that's really unfortunate for you now, ain't it? Come, ladies. Let's show him some manners. Bam. Nice. That worked out so well. Still got three cards? That's fine. We only take 50% of uh, power loss from that. He takes full uh, as long as he doesn't have another Scorch, we're fine. Uh, we're going to start with a decoy first, just to make sure we have one card on hand. Uh, so he doesn't Scorch him, just in case he does have a Scorch. But we're now at power 4, so he can't do anything else. As long as he doesn't have the drugs. Actually, even if he has the drug, we won this. We won this. It's over. We got it. Nice. Oh, that was really close. The fact that we drew, uh, uh, we drew both of the, on -crate, uh, the Clan on Crate Warriors was huge. That was huge. Absolutely gargantuanly massive. We wouldn't have won it without that. Because then his dragon would have wiped out all of our ladies here. And we would have been sitting there with just 10 power. We would have tied, granted. Uh, but it, then we'd have another round. See, those Berserkers are bad? Yeah, those Berserkers are pretty bad. If you don't dra grab the, what, few cards that'll actually work with them. It worked out well. Nice. Free final completed. Congratulations. The best man has won. Playing the best faction to boot. Thanks. Good game. Stella got one. What a bundle of pish! Tournament's not done! No, at my time. Alright. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor! Geralt of Rivia, playing the Skelliger faction, shall face Yaki Raffenberg, playing... Skoyatel! Of course. Let the better man, or dwarf, win! Or is he playing Skoyatel? What else did he play? Which means there's going to be a lot of mid and uh, close range. So if we can get some, if we can get one Skellige Storm, this going to be a big advantage. Ooh, what is... What is... Oh, 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 oh chicken time. It's chicken time. All right, we're going to get rid of the... Uh, that's not so good. But we can at least get rid of the Maiden. Don't want her. Oh, for Ceres, yes. Now we're talking. Uh, do you need the three decoys versus the Scoitel? Um, yeah, they have, uh, no, we don't. They only have one, uh, we do need the decoy for our medic. Uh, of course, it's yeah, of course it is. Um, uh, so here's the question. Do we drop Dandelion? I think we keep Dandelion. I think we keep this hand. This hand is bizarre, but I think we keep it. Yeah, we're going to keep this hand here. We'll be able to use her to bring back chicken for round two. So we can have round two and round three Heimdall. Old Heimdall. Um, we've got our summon three boys, and we've got her our summon three lad, uh, lasses. And these two work in tandem. This one's going to be a murder someone who's really scary. Which, there aren't many that are really scary for Skoyatel, so we can do that. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I think we stick. I think we're good. Just dropping that one maiden was all we needed to get uh, Ceres instead of the maiden. That was good. Uh, they're clearly meant to be the old guard and the old nerds who are angry at their game being changed. Like all the people who complained about D&D uh, &D 5e. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You mean everyone who complained about D&D &D 4e? <laughs> or the new summoning method in uh, Gikyo? Uh, some were not good. Uh, some were not good for the game. I see. Uh, you're playing Dandelion first? Oh, we'll start with Chicken. I was, I was gonna be like, sure, but we'll start with Chicken. Let's play Chicken. Oh yeah, I'm sure people complained about 5th edition as well. I mean, as we all know, 5th, like, 3rd edition was the best edition. 3.5 was just, it's just superior. But, that being said, 5th edition is better to get into the game. 
It's better for new people. Do you pass here? That's a good question, Badger. It's actually a really good question. Maybe we just pass here. <laughs> uh, we'd lose. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I'd rather at least get some points in here. So I am going to go forward, and we'll just go and uh, try and run out with the uh, with the good old long ships here. They're not going to give us too much benefit down the line. We don't have any way to power them up more than the base fort they are. She might have a scorch. She might not. There it is. So at least she's using the scorch on this one versus on later with our on crate clan members powering themselves up or the shield maidens powering themselves up. So that was definitely a decent roll for us. Uh, I still want to keep Dandelion around if we can. Um, I guess we're going to play Geralt and then pass. We're going to play Geralt and pass. Yeah, here we go. See, so he went and played another powerful card. So he's gonna, uh, he'll have to play at least one more card to win. And we can just pass here. He has to play one more card if he wants to win this. A horn? That'll do it. So now he's used Dandelion and a horn. Wow, that's not really the smartest move. All right, Heimdall has appeared for the power of the chicken. All right, let's go and reanimate the chicken again. Oh wait, first things first, there's that one, okay. So we're on almost even footing. Not quite though. Alright, bring forth the power. The power of chicken. Kambi, return. Excellent. Yeah, no, Dalka, that's that's my exact complaint about uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition. It's just a really shallow game. Uh, there isn't as much complexities that you can have, which is why it is good for anyone who's new to the genre. Meanwhile, for any of the old guard playing uh, other versions of the game is better because you can have more depth and customization. Uh, you're a power eight? Not anymore. You better not come back next round. <laughs> you better stay dead when you die. I do not want him back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play on crate. Save the medic? Yes, we're gonna save the medic. We're gonna play both on crates, um, and then we will. Okay, that's fine. All right, we'll play the other on crate. Done. Got back at nineteen. Really excellent. That's all the scorches. Uh, unfortunately, we do have to do something about this, and I can't. We actually have to play Saris's turn. <laughs> that's really awkward. Like, I, she's out of cards, luckily. Or, he's out of cards, luckily. So we've won this. But that's really awkward that I, I can't... Uh, we'll, we'll bring back the medic. And we're going to have to play Saris. Still has uh, hero ability. What was this ability again? What does this do? Not this one. This one. Uh, destroy the enemy's strongest closed combat. Oh, really? Yeah, we never got over 10, did we? Well, it's a good thing, too. Bring her in. Grab all the lasses. Powered up and done. Completed. Next round. I'm doll. Easy. Plus, another chicken and a maiden. Excellent. Yeah, casual 70, uh, 40, uh, 57 power versus 14. That's exactly right. Not flexing. It's just who we are. We'll go ahead and we'll we'll flex on her this time, uh, and we'll actually bring back a shield maiden because she's gonna power themselves up. Boom, boom. There we go, forty nine to zero. Just casual, you know. We're a casual gamer. That's all. Just, you know. <laughs> Thanks. Good game. Bollock blasters. What hurts most is fucking Skellige one. But as they say, tough shit. Congrats. Meanwhile, if you're playing Majesty the Gathering, they'd say it's broken and unbalanced. Come on, lads! Let's get soused! No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tipple. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match of Gwent, I see no reason why not. And then we get hammered and talk Thank about you Sultan. For everything, Witcher. <laughs> um. But yeah, like it's like any expansion that happens, and it's like all oh, these cards are way too good. All the old cards are garbage. That's the complaint I would expect. No problem. Uh, didn't all go? Uh, didn't all go as planned? Yeah. Um, it didn't go all as planned. Don't think that went exactly as you planned. 
What matters is we played great, and I presented the Skellige faction. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. Cool. We'll shove that in our house. Thank you very much, Count. Thank you once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. Yes. Nice. We're not going to get wasted with the dwarves in chat? Are you serious? We're just skipping that whole thing? Oh, I thought that might be like a new side quest or something that would pop up. Oh, that's just disappointing. Well darn. Alright, well, uh, where's the nearest teleportation post? We need to get back to our house and put our trophy on display. Let's go over to the embassy over here. To the embassy! Um... Yeah, well, that's one of the problems with a lot of uh, card games, is the power creep uh, from expansions. It's very common to be an issue. And the moment, like you're saying right now, um, oh, save, good, good, good call. I like that, thank you. Easy clap. First try. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Wreck those nerds. Yeah, that wasn't hard at all. We absolutely demolished them. Oops, I went right past it. Um, did I? Yeah, I did. Uh, but the problem is that there's like a lot of power creep in a lot of these uh, card games, and one of the big things that becomes a problem from that is older cards become worthless, like as in they become worth less than they were before. Um, and on top of that, you end up in situations where it's like, hey, I drew my five cards at the beginning of the game. I'm going to play this one and 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 this one. And hey, look, I won. What a fun game. Man, your deck was really cool. I didn't see a single card. Have a good one. What a great tournament. Like, that just is dumb to me. <laughs> like, it ends up instead of being, um, it, there's no skill involved. It comes down to cold, hard calculations that a computer could run. What's the most optimal deck to have with the highest probability of winning on turn one? And then it comes down to a coin toss. If both of you have the same probability of winning with your deck, and you flip a coin to see who goes first, technically, no one will ever win. You just end up having perpetual infinite ties. Except for whoever picks heads, because if it's not computer-generated coin flipping, then heads win that, wins actually 51% of the time. Because the weight of the coin by the by the design, at least on the US coins, probably different on other coins. But, uh... Yeah. They literally had cards with descriptions as long as Magic the Gathering cards. Oh my goodness, that sounds scary. <laughs> That's not scary. All right, we've got a main story quest to jump on to. Let's go. We'll run there. We'll stretch our legs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at the absolute top end of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, has some counterplay, but it's just not fun. Yeah, I, I just don't see any interest in that. Because like, like, the thing is, there's no skill. Once you get to the point that you can win without the other person doing anything, why are you? Why don't you just play chess on your own, right? Like, what's what's the point of the other person being there for you to be able to gloat at them that you beat them? Where's the fun for the other player? Like, I don't. It's no longer a game. You're just you're just wrecking on a nerd that can't even play. You're just you're essentially taking someone. You're wrapping them completely up like from head to, to toes in rope and saying all right let's let's have a fist fight this is gonna be great i go first as soon as i'm done with all of my punches then you can go it's like oh okay yeah this is cool uh their fun is being dominated maybe or to dominate others i imagine mostly it's the fun is getting a chance to dominate others but i just don't find fun in that because I, I like the struggle of of two combatants right uh, you know, fight of the mind and of the of your reflexes, but that's just me, I guess. All right, let's get on with this. We got to go storm a castle. So, ready for the assault? Aye. See, you already prepared a plan. <laughs> He's had like three weeks. We have two objectives: to find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. Mm. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, 
restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. Wait, how many what? men defend Antine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them, we know very little. We're we gonna storm Sinkian's the front. Man, That's crazy. Gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Mm, true. Yes. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders. Keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way. Find the women. Make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk, but I sense you will handle it well. Oh yeah. Let us go. Let's do this thing. To the carpentry sand. Off we go. Every card released after 2005 is essentially banned. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it sounds like a really well-balanced game if you have to ban a third of your cards. <laughs> I understand. It's like for so money. They have to make a bunch. So it begins. Let's do this. Grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans. <laughs> Hello, boys. Oh my goodness, there's a bow boy. No, you don't. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, no, you don't. No bows. Not allowed. They're banned. Okay. Now we can fight. Do you guys want to fight? No? Yeah, maybe? We'll let them dance. Just you and me now. Oh, can that sound hurt? That hurt a lot. Here, let's let him... Gotta have a warm, let him warm up, right? Gotta warm up before a good dance. You don't want them to hurt themselves, yeah? Boop. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that finisher was brutal. All right, Pike Man. Damn it! Ow! Ow! Stung. Burn. The horses are all freaked out. Understandable. There's a lot of fire over here. Oh, I love it when they dance in unison. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, nice. Roderick sent him to get the horses. He's looking to flee. Can't let him. Um, is there anything else for me to grab here? Good, good, and... Oh yeah, Bow Boy. <laughs> go, go pick up Bow Boy stuff real quick. Right. I see no ducals along the road. They must be drunk. Look, those are great on the wagon. We can flee. You we'll saw manage. nothing. They breached the back wall. Come on. Hello. We'll let that guy play on fire for a moment. And, uh... Okay, Bow Boy. Alright. Alright. I was literally just about to go and cool them all off with the power of art. And they were like... Let's go put a quarrel in this back real quick here. Rude. Ow. Oh, that's the, uh... That's the guy. Nice. Alright. No more bows, right? Yeah? Good? Perfect. Blam! You out? Oh. You out? There you go. Get this guy next. Get the sword man. Pathetic. Right in the back. Oh, you got me. Whoop. Alright, so we're gonna hard them, and then we're gonna have some fun, and we'll let them all dance. Except for this shield man, so we'll have him move away from the pack. This is slow now. Oh, okay. This is more than I was hoping for. Dagger him up. See if we can take him down real quick here. Perfect. Oh my goodness. There goes his head. 
Oh, he's got a, he's got a block up set. Let's go block stance up. And one and two. And there you go. Nice. Mercy. Mercy. I How heartwarming, right? Nah, kept the wrong damn company. Centrian's men, where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Mistakes were made. Uh, where are they? Looking for the women. We'll talk about that first. Where's the hostage? The woman. What? What? What do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must, must be the handiwork of my guests. Okay. Where are they at? Where are they now? In, in the keep, ready in their escape. There's someone with them. Woman named Siana. Of, of course. She, she convinced me. To let them in. Hmm. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack, packing. We were to leave together. An old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? I, yes. Her chamber is in the tower. The top floor. Alright. What, what will become of me? Um, yeah, we'll help you out later. Oh, mm. yeah, we'll help you. Here, Pretend you're a lady. Press it against the wound. Should staunch the bleeding. Oh, okay. I, I thank you. All right. I was gonna say here, put this on. Pretend to be a lady. We're supposed to be in charge of getting all the ladies out. Eat oldest trick in the book, yeah. Oh, we go through this door. Through the doors. Hello. Oh my good gracious. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Let's come up here for a good old Give cinematic. Me one last chance. Yield. The damned harlot got us into this. Kill him. Attack. You know I've got a grudge against bows. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> what? Um. Ah. Our vampire friends. Hello. Need to get into the keep. They shall pay for everything. You get on it. Uh, we're currently rescuing a, uh, a hostage uh, that they took one of the... They took the vampire's lady. Uh, that vampire, the one right next to me right now. My goodness, he's terrifying. Can we, can we kill that guy? Thank you. Let's get the AoEs up and running. We'll keep him preoccupied. You guys just do the slaughtering for me. Oh my good gracious. We'll keep them we'll keep them preoccupied. We'll slow them all down with the power of freezing hard. They're just going to annihilate everyone. Wow, honestly that vampires are probably dead. Yeah, they're literally look at this slaughter. Oh my good gracious. Alright. Nicely done, boys. Nicely done. Wasn't expecting to see you two. Oh my good gracious. We thought you could use our help. So Oh uh, yeah. This is time to explain. Where is Renna? Expect to answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then. We could have done it on our own. It just would have taken a long time and a lot of hard. Maybe a little agony. Man. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. That was that was impressive. Ah, oh, changing back to normal form is amazing. Don't do it. Nana. Are you... Are you hurt? If any of them... You know me. I'd never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. 
Oh. I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I forgive me. I failed you. Wait, she looked for that bottle. Something's fishy. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Sienna. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. The very one we're in right now. Mm. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. That it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? One and the same. Oh my goodness. It is fishy. Just confess. Oh, why don't you? Uh, you lied to him and you used him? Yeah, no, just, just, uh, we're not going to point accusations. We're just going to tell her she's going to open up. Come on now. Giving you one chance to tell us everything yourself. I have nothing to tell. Oh, wrong answer. Witcher, uh, what is this? Sorry, Deadlaugh. You've been had. My friend, please, you must listen to what Geralt has to say. Kidnapping was a farce. Santa Maria, the same person. Yeah, no, it's, it's kidnapping. We don't have to, like, saying two explains one. Rena's not her real name. This is Siana, and Siana is sister to Anna Henrietta, the Duchess of Toussaint. What? What nonsense is this? Siana was banished as a child, but it seems she trekked back here recently, moved into Duntime, and ran a Vandergild out of here. Sent a man called the Centrian to Beauclair to steal some wine for her. Wine reserved for the ducal family. Centrian led us to her. Caught him later stealing a jewel Sian had gotten from her father as a child. <clears throat> Sorry, Dedloff. She used you. Part of her plan. And... That's a bit much. You will come to Teshamudna and explain all. If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. This I promise you. You've three days. I shall be waiting. Ooh. Okay. He just fly off. He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. I think he'll do it. Make good on his threat. I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of Very it. Very true. Uh, coincidence, uh... Gets to you now? Hmm. Didn't expect this? Yeah, no, right? Conscience gets to you now? Better. <sighs> yeah, no, a conscience. I, I read it right, said it wrong. Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Oh my goodness. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise. Promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Siana to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. Mm. 
Mm. And you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntine shall answer for treason and blackmail. Uh, he had no, yeah, he had no knowledge of it. How to answer, uh, for being a dunce? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going with number two. That's grazing. That's amazing. That's funny. He's no traitor, just naive. Let himself be made a fool of. Paid dearly for it. Made a fool? Whom by? Your sister. She's the one convinced him to let the bandits into his home. We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire. Ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover. Staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're Damn. mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detlof. The same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazaire. Yep. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. It's going to be a lot harder than that. She knows what he looks like. Can't just bring any old head over. A few days later. Oh, good gracious. Okay. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Doubt it. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not threats. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Welcome back, Vortice. How you doing today? Oh, man. We've already gone a couple of days now, so it's, what, one more day until things go south? Or maybe it's in the morning? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. Okay, yeah. I don't get upset mutations, remember? Uh, could it happen to anyone? It's true. Eh, we'll, we'll go with the second one. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. Yeah. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? Uh, depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit. Whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Look <laughs> that helmet. It looks so ridiculous Prince, on him. The population demands she be punished. Siona's committed terrible crimes. Spilt so much blood. They... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time. Siana is responsible for the death of many. True. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison. Pitchforks on torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? Uh, working on it. We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. 
Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The Ducal Huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the Bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. <laughs> I mean, yeah, vampires and foxes game and <laughs> game in general exhibit uh, certain essential differences. That's all I was gonna say. It's like, yeah, you know, a, a dog could chase down a rabbit, yeah, no problem. But as soon as you add a human to the mix, as long as the human has a far enough head start, you can outsmart a dog, right? Now you're talking about something that can turn into fog. Good luck. Maybe you should sell the beagles then. I'll uh, find them later. Now we're gonna we're just gonna stay like professional and cold. So that's going to be our angle, professional and cold. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. <gasps> mm-hmm. Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand... <laughs> Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlar, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! They protect the city! Kept the Nalator defense to square near the boat landing, but so many lives lost. Damn That's it. not good. That was a weird transition. Oh, good gracious. If it's war this Detlef wants, it's war he shall have. Geralt, get to work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you... Rixie. Get her I'm on it. The invisibleness is ridiculous. Alright, Brixa. Come here. Oh, man, I can't I can never get her with the finish off ability, can I? Oh, she's just agile. Oh, I just can't quite get her with that finish off. It just won't happen. I think I might have gotten her with that. I think she's still, yeah, so she can't go invisible anymore. She's sparkly silver now. But she can still make the jumps and she can still scream. Oh my goodness, get out of the way. Like seriously, just back off. Let me take care of this. I've got this. Oh, got from the side. Oof. Oh yeah, but it's kind of hard to talk back to, uh, how's it going? How's it going, Joji? How are you doing? Yeah, it's hard to talk back when it's a ruler, but, you know, that's why we're going to be professional. Full professional. Not what they want to hear, but not exactly truly disrespectful. Oof! Those Sonic screams are ridiculous. They've got to actually be really painful for Geralt, too, because he's got uh, mutations that makes his ears better. Two more hits. Two more hits. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, out of the way. One more hit. There we go. Wham. Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there. Detloff is not making either threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, damn it. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A 
way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I put it? Do forgive me. You have misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis, mm. another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Sion. Oh, for goodness sakes, that's not good. Uh, these choices are going to be tough. How's it going, Average? How are you doing today? Welcome. Um, true, but they didn't hear the bricks' head. <laughs> the bricks are chopping that guy's head off. True, they were very distracted. That's very true. Uh, I think Deathless still believes her? Yeah, I don't think so, but you can ask. Deathless still believes Sianna's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. And he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Gracious. Yeah, what exactly are you suggesting? Really want to free Sianna? Hand her over to Deadloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Detlaf is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance on a Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. Oh, goodness. Uh, I guess we have to do it. <laughs> this is what it seems like. Uh, she can't be harmed. Can you guarantee your safety? Yeah, it's important. Um, yeah, that's that first. A meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme. But... Didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Uh, what was that? Can you explain why Sienna declare, uh, decided to mess with this vampire and use him? Uh, how is this a good idea? Uh, she wants revenge on her sister. Uh, there was, like, uh, shenanigans that happened within the royal family. Uh, she got cast out. I don't remember what the shenanigans were at this point, but, um, uh, she got cast out. Um, and she's resented that, um, uh, for the last, I think it's like 10 years. Uh, and so she's back to get revenge. And so she went and she had every single knight that escorted her out murdered so far using the vampire. Um, so that, that's what she's doing. Or was she, that's what she was doing before he found out. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Sienna's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. Duchess treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see? I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. Um... So you don't want to negotiate? Yeah. I can get him to reveal himself? Yeah, what's our other option? How would I go about luring Detlaf out of hiding if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen, ancient and powerful vampires. Among the oldest and strongest. Mm hmm and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals, Oriana, for instance, you know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say <laughs> she gets me in to see the unseen elder. What then? I don't know. You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Okay, then what? Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who will you stand with? 
Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Oh, for goodness sakes. I don't know. I mean... Alright, let's look at this, right? Freeing Siana sounds uh, obvious, most direct. It's not the right call, though, I don't think. Um, so let's let's talk this through, as we do with all very important decisions. And in the end, we'll go with what I think Geralt would make uh, for his decision. So the first option is freeing Siana and bringing him to Damien, or bringing her to Damien, so that we can sit down and talk, right? Thing is, A, that goes against the Duchess's wishes, B, puts Siana in danger, and C, does not guarantee that Damien doesn't try and kill us all, right? Um... Geralt is originally here under the Duchess's order, right? The Duchess paid for him to show up. Uh, both, right? Yeah. Uh, so then we have the second option, if we we're going to try and follow the Duchess's orders as much as we can, which is uh, going and finding this unseen, which I'm actually really curious about lore-wise, and I kind of want to go to that just so I can see who this unseen person is. Because um, I'm assuming if we go with option one, we'll never see them. Uh, but it, the danger of that is we're probably going to have to do some challenge or something. Um, lots more people will die because you'll take a lot longer. True, that makes sense. Um, save and do both. Ooh. I mean, we can, but... It depends on how long each one is. But that's a good suggestion. <laughs> Why not both? Uh, but yeah, so the, the thing is, like, the second... Like, in, in all honesty, the first option is the best one. From what I see. In which, so long as Geralt is, like... You know, hopped up on every potion he can think of. Uh, he should be able to defend Siana if things go south. Especially if we have our friend here help out in at least defending her, not necessarily killing Damien, but, or killing um, Detloff, but at least keeping her, him off of Siana. It's going to piss off um, the Duchess, but I mean, Geralt pisses off every single ruler he works with, right? Like, that's that's just the way it goes. Uh, if you think loss of life is important here, now, like, Geralt, the loss of life is, is a fact of, of life. The thing that matters for him is to get the job done. Um, more so than anything else. Like, if common peasants are common peasants that shadowed him all the time. Like, what does he really care? Uh, if he wants to do the best he can. Uh, I think we're gonna go with freeing Siana, though. And the reason is just because it's, it's the quickest way to the solution, and it's the guaranteed way to the solution. Because we'd have to A, find the unseen, right? If you think this through, you have to find the unseen uh, vampire, and then you have to convince him and then you have to convince Detloff. That's, that's three ifs right there. If we find him, we can continue. If we can convince the Unseen, we can continue. And if we can convince Detloff not to just free, uh, flee and actually stop doing what he's doing, right? Because if he flees, all the vampires that are causing havoc right now will probably still be causing havoc. So that's three ifs. Meanwhile, we go for Siana. It's if we can find Siana, one. And if we can defend her properly while talking to Detloff, two. It's only two ifs. It's a safer bet. I think we're going to go with number one. But I'm really, really curious about number two. Uh, but you know Geralt's luck? Uh, he's never failed at anything before. It's true. He's got plot armor. It's amazing. But all the same. Uh, he pisses off everyone eventually. It's true. That's very true. Uh, contract went south. Uh, she went against his opinion. And solutions enforced this solution. True. Actually, yeah. Uh, she, she kind of cut him off of options. Uh, at this point, the contract is dead. He kind of failed the original contract. Uh, he isn't under the contract anymore. That's true. Uh, you'd love to see number two if we do number one. I think I'm going to do number one, um, and we'll just have to... I don't have a save point prior to this, do I? Did we save before this? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we did, War Chief. Yeah, well, it's fine. Actually, I can say don't know. Need to think about it. Can I pick number three and save, and then talk to him again and do one and two? You can save right now, and then reload uh, to the quick save. 
Can we do that? Can we save on three? I just want to be sure before I hit three. I don't know if that causes problems. We'll hit three. No idea. Need to think. Not an easy choice. Understood. Permit me to leave you to wrestle with this dilemma. I'm needed in the city. I cannot stop what is happening, but I can try to limit the number of victims. Once you've decided and learned something, perhaps, whisper a word to the Ravens. I shall find you. Oh, we don't get to hear what, is, what he's going to say instead. All right, there's probably a checkpoint here. Uh, let's see, because picking that means that then we can't see what his responses are going to be. I don't like that. Anyway, load. What do we have for load? The quick save slot was... Where is this? Where are we? Good gracious. That was before the Gwent, was it? That was after Gwent. Yeah, it was after Gwent. Castle? Oh, this is when we just picked it up before we went and attacked the castle. This is before the castle. Uh, this checkpoint's the castle. And then these ones are the conversations. The problem with these is these checkpoints are overwritten. There's only three checkpoints that are saved. So if we go down the quest line, it's going to get overwritten. So I think we're just going to live with our decision. Because this one just happened from the end of the dialogue. Right, so if we go and we load back here, it'll be at the end of the dialogue here. Right after we said, hold on, we need to think about it. I want to hear what he says when we pick something, though. I don't want to have to go and, like, meet up with him. I want, I want to hear what he says. Right? Because like, there's going to be dialogue we're missing. You know? Uh, if you open them uh, once in a while, uh, you can keep them there. Yeah, see, so he brings us right back here. So I think we're just going to be doing one. Uh, to which we're going to be going back through the dialogue here. Oh, we're going to have to fight that Brixa again if I do this. Ah, I hate that so much. Why couldn't it have just been like, uh, he's just like, all right, I'll give you a quick minute, and then we're just stuck in that place so we can hit save. That's why I didn't want to hit three init uh, initially. All right, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll go through this dialogue tree. We'll oh, we just killed the bricks up. Cool. Siana failed to appear as summoned. And there. There you go. Death love to see him. All right, Magic, cool. We'll go through this quick dialogue tree. Cool. We don't have to do the things. Um, YouTube for option two, I guess. I mean, if we have to save, I don't think we'll have to save, though. I don't think we'll have to save to really do that. It's, mm, I do not... I'd have to go back and do it another day. That's the, the hard part. Because uh, the last save that I've got that I could use and meet... Uh, uh, doing the castle siege, so I guess I could do it. Uh, we just can't do a quick save, right? Uh, no, we, if we do a solid save of a new save state of this after we do this conversation, and then we go to that save, that quick save that was at the castle fight and do a solid save in a new slot on that one, then we can do both. And we just have to go through the castle siege again, which wasn't that hard, wasn't that long. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. We just have to fight the bricks and the castle siege. You see, we can do that. So this we must find the elder. We gotta yeah, find a person first, the elder person. Then what? Holy mm -hmm. saves, I know, right? Region. Should you we should be very careful about how we do it. Certainly we need to bring so. our brains to this fight. All right. Um, considering freeing uh, Sion, yeah, let's go with one. Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. See, this is this is why I wanted to get that extra dialogue. Because it matters. All right. Do we just automatically talk to him, or can I? Okay, thank goodness. Hurry. Dave. Save. No, not Dave. resume. Save. So we have all these manual saves. So we can come all the way back down here to Care Morin, or Battle Prep, or. Thin ice, Devon party, open sesame. We can do it here. We don't need this one. Scavenger hunt, feline. Yeah, we can cut this one off. We don't need that one anymore. So we'll save that. Now if we go to load, we now have a manual save here. So then we'll go to the quick save right now. So we'll jump all the way back to quick save. All right, so we're going to jump. 
We got it. We have to archive these. If we're going to do both options, we have to archive these. So I really want to know who the unseen is. Like, I man, I love the lore in this world. It's amazing. So we, we need to save up here real quick. Got to save up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It loads in. Perfect. Let's quick save right before that. Okay. Save. So we now have this one that we can come back to. And this is when we were going and getting the... Uh, this is the end of last week's stream. It's the end of last week's stream. We don't need this one anymore. Overwrite that. Now we can load. And now we have Capture Castle and the one we're currently on. Jump right back over. Empty slot? Ah, we can save even more empty slots, but then we have a big list of them. I don't want to have to go and sort through them. <laughs> I'd rather just have the two most recent ones. It's easy. And besides, we don't need the save that we had that we started with at the beginning of the today. No, no need for that one. No need for that one. Look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Damien could be in danger or dead. Do you think so? He seemed battle hardened. More than a few straps under his belt. Against humans, not monsters. A lot of people catch him. But how's it going, Grizzledon? How are you doing today? Welcome. Good to have you here. All the Regis or Ask. Oh, we have the option. Even when we pick one. So even when we pick one, we still get the option. Crazy. Gherkin. I get these Gherkins down. Regis, you were doing so much more damage before. I guess he struggles with uh, it not being a human. Oh my ow. Holy moly, that stung. Never thought lesser vampires would heed a higher vampire's call of commands. As a rule, they don't. So how did Moff sick them on the city? I told you, he's exceptional. He manages to bend them to his will, control them with his thoughts. That's They'll insane. continue attacking until he orders them to back down, until he dies. That's... That's going. Just re downloaded this game for the PC. Haven't played since the Xbox. Really excited. It's a really good game. Uh oh, Brixa. Two! More than one. There's one right here. Don't oh, you try and hide from me. Oh, jeez. Nope. No, uh, no. Wait, is it the same one? Maybe it was. Man, I can't. Yo, please stop trying to finish her off. Don't work. She's so agile. Oh, don't you try and hit me with your banshee scream. No, no, no. Regis, you gonna help? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Got her. Oh, I got some liver. Nice. Useful. <laughs> Regis is like, you coming? You almost one-shot her? Always. Not quite, though. What's with the uh, explosion? What's that all about? Whoop! Oh, hello. The flutter. The flutters are easy. Alright. Oh my goodness. Okay. So much for them being easy. I think it's just hard having our uh, our good pal Regis here. We can't. I can't uh, time the stun locks the same. <laughs> Easy, sure, if they hit really hard. It's true. Blow itself didn't kill him. Bled to death afterwards. If we'd only arrived a bit earlier. All right, what are we looking for? They broke formation. Ran. That's it. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. How do you know it's his? Why'd you smell that? Barricade put up in the street. Pointless. That's no obstacle to a They didn't know. I didn't get a chance to face. prepare them. Struck in the back. Tried to run. They must have realized they could not hold this position. Hope they found a corner to hide in. Would be anyone to talk to if not. Okay. Where else we going here? <laughs> of course he knows. Yeah. Oh, an Alp. Alps are almost as annoying as Brixay, but we can one-shot them. Not as powerful. Can I pick up her liver? Nice tune. Oh no. 
We're, uh, I'm fighting a Brixa, okay. I'm gonna fight this Brixa because I just killed a Ralph friend. Where'd she go? There she is. Left side. You thought you could hide from me. You can't hide from me. I know where you are. Oh no. I don't want to hear your songs. Go to practice first. Oh, hang on now. Ugh. Get her. Oh. These brooks are so strong. <laughs> they take an absolute beating. No. <laughs> My kinetic blast hits before yours. There we go. The death animation now. Jeez, it takes a minute. Oh, we got a stomach? Gross. I think we need that, but okay. Oh, bats! Ah! Bats! Must be in the bank. Alright, Evoken, so long as you're not part of them. Not, as long as you're not also a vampire. Alright, let her sit down. And you're dead. Ah, boys, let me in. You killed it single handedly. I that harlot's brood slaughtered half my unit. I see the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw, you and your men, now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Demian, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. What you gonna do? What's the call? to the wounded and prepare to march out doing the right thing now listen close silver that's what you want to use against vampires your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can churn it out in gallons then coat your blades with it keep an eye out for alps and bruxe the shapely ones resemble women they're one moment gone the next bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Maybe. Got a different plan? Yeah, uh, got a different plan. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Sienna. You know the Duchess's decision. Sienna awaits her trial, in custody. Mm -hmm. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying, moral perish because of yeah, right? Folk are dying, many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. Honor bound. When, when last I saw Sienna, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? What? As in for children? You sure? I've served in the ducal palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Sienna up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. Alright. You've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. 
Uh, player let's go, or me? No, no, no. We'd go right now. Let's go, we just... It's go time. Here. The playroom's beyond this door. Oh, hello. Are you not gonna get involved? Oh, he did. It's dead. Oh, thank you. Like, he's like casually walking by while I see it moving. Oh, okay. Locked. Locked. Of course. Plan? Pages. I'd rather not have a fist fight with his door. Do you mind? Hopefully he's opening the door as opposed to fighting that. Thank you. Thanks. At your service. <laughs> that bow. Come on, man. We don't need to do any milk guardian bows around here. Sirens. No one here. We should look around at least. Isn't silver a softer material? Uh, they line silver into the um, uh, into the blade, so it's not a blade full of silver. It's uh, it's generally a steel sil saber with silver. A rocking horse, rather worn. I suppose it got a lot of use. Uh, Zada, why did you not choose Regis? Regis is better than Triss. I don't know. The thing is, he's going to outlive me. It's going to become a real problem. At least Triss and Geralt will end up uh, expiring around the same time. A tin knight. That's a, it's a similar problem that we had with uh, with Shawnee and why we couldn't go with Shawnee. Same kind of issue. She's only going to make another 40 years. Geralt's got another like 200 in him. Nice tune. Indeed. Pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism is damaged. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Hmm. Pretty sure no known witcher has died of old age. Yeah, I think that's exactly it. Uh, but a lot of them will, will last a long, a long while. Uh, some of them get to like 300 something years. Painting. It's probably a good clue. Well, well. A key tucked behind a picture. Oh. Huh. Of course. Where else would it be? Miniature tableware. And plush toys. Cute. Hey, how, old, how old is Vesemir? I can't remember. It's like 300 something, right? Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by lazy chambermaid. <laughs> Only ever exactly that. What's this book? Journal. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Oh my good gracious, there's like people dying outside and we're going to read a diary. Excellent. Let's go down the list. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly, girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. Wow, okay. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Henrietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana mm -hmm. and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Henrietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Mm. Okay. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. <laughs> cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh. Don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. 
Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Is this like the painting? Hmm, okay. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm, curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt then that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. Hmm, okay. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blooder is damned or cursed. What's Kusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness. So yeah, they, they both were just their own little devils in their own little ways. Children. Yeah. Mm. Just being children. I realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe... Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Oh, uh, like we went into the uh, painting. Be safe there and isolated. We must see. Yeah, yeah, because uh, or we went into that painting uh, in the other DLC. So it's quite possible that the same can happen here. Oh, this looks like a fancy book. Uh -huh. Is it? Let's see. Say the magic words. Geralt. Oh. Okay. Or, or just be stronger than ten men. That works too. Expecto Ludum. Well, Medallion's going nuts. The Knight of Long Fangs. Regis? Regis! Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. I need some serious magic to do this. Let's see where this road takes me. Yeah, now Regis is going to be coming with us. It'll just be us. I'm probably, you know, the curse differently. Everything's going wild. The whole land's an illusion. It's so powerful, there's no way to dispel it. Oh, follow the yellow brick road. Do that. Although it's more like gold ore that's gl glimmering, but yeah. Rigs? Yup. Was about right. Oh man, what a hop. That was nuts. Oh wait, splits? Come on now. There's some whoople tingers. Uh, which are like what? Rabbit? Um. Cat, uh, elk hybrid creatures, if memory serves. Whooper tingle, finger. It says I'm supposed to go the other way. There's no map here. Well, right, we'll go the other way. We'll just follow the, uh, I'll just follow the, uh, 
Um, yeah, it says just follow the yellow brick road, but I'll, I'll actually follow the uh, marker instead. Make life easier. Uh, Nonlinear interactive storytelling. Yeah. That's exactly right. Also, welcome. How's it going? So we went in a circle. Interesting. Okay, I see. So I took a wrong turn. We need to go up and over this bridge that they went under. So we need to go around and up. Oops, a daisies. Let me get up there somehow. Let's stick to the right. Unless this brings me in a circle. Nah, there's the bridge. Perfect, got it. Oh, what? Okay, this place is apparently dangerous. Uh, Alright. We can get this going. It doesn't even mesh properly with the ground. <laughs> there it does. Now it does. Fine now. It's coming up. There it is. I hear you. Are you down below? Ignored. Oh no, we actually have to fight this thing? It's in the water. Come on. Make life so hard. There's this thing. Here it is. Oh, come on. We powered up for a little bit extra damage there. It's still going. It's not quite. Oh, don't let me down now. It's not quite dead. It almost is. There we go. Got him. Oof. Nothing fire can't fix. Damn it. This is a playground for two little girls. Something's not right. Yeah, something's wrong. What? Totally went the right way. Poisoned apple. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I think I could look at this guy. Look like a flower on. Let's try going up. Up here. Whoops, daisies. We're not on the yellow brick road anymore. There, are, now we are. Bloody hell, let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> knock, knock! <laughs> I don't use doors. Me to get cross. Then you open it. Um, hello. <laughs> Just a quick wave. This a lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I can catch you. Oh, you can try. The Wicked Witch. Oh, come on now. Seriously? She spawns these? You gotta be kidding me. They have full health and everything. Right, they don't have all the functionality, though. They don't have all the spores and whatnot going around. Okay, we're gonna have to hard her down. What the? Oh, I can't hard her down. That laugh is really good, though. Really well done laugh. We yeah, have to have to crossbow her. Oh, zero damage. How do I get her down? Ah, that's how. When the bubble is off. I see. 
Oh, I'll, I'll be careful. Don't worry about me. I'm just uh, a brute. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, that's really bad. That stunlock was nuts. I was about to. I almost got her all the way down now. Get another Quen going. Took her. Wait, oh my goodness. Oh, it's. <laughs> it's a soupy panther. Hello, soupy panther. This thing's so fast. Oh. Slow it down with the power of Ard. Slow it down again with the power of Ard. Oh, this frozen Ard is just so good. Okay, now we're gonna have to go and crossbow her again when she. Reload. And. Okay, here she comes. Got her. And. Done. Oh, what? I thought that was it! Oh, I stopped attacking because I thought that was all I needed. <gasps> she has one more health. She has one health. She has one health. Oh, no. Shadow made a mistake. I got complacent. Oh, and there's a panther, too. Or is this like an, a you can't defeat her until you do the third thing? She legitimately has no health bar left. Oh, frozen panther. A panther sickle. My health. Why am I not healing? Okay, right, thank you. Now I'm healing. <laughs> We're just gonna roll for a minute here until I got a little more health. Oh, get out of the way. I need to get another poison potion on me. Good. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, rolling. Isn't frozen soup just jelly? Not necessarily. Go. Can't there. That's the real one's the problem because it's so agile and stays on me. This one, on the other hand, actually, if it could spit at me real quick, that'd be ideal. Can you spit at me real quick? Thank you. Full health. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, we take that potion, makes all poison turn into healing, and it, it just spits poison. So, full health. Perfect. I feel comfy again. Oh, I missed. Ah. Load. Aim. And, come on. Ah. Oh. Okay, I need more in the center. Come on, Wicked Witch. Drop your fantasy bubble. Stop hiding in soap. Oh my goodness. But I whiffed it. It's okay, she didn't even hit me either. But, um, truly whiffed that one. Oh on now. Ah, oh, shot too early. I had it fine the ones before. Probably just use the auto shot instead. Uh, stench. No, not fast enough. I have to stay far enough away. So she'll keep the other direction. <laughs> right. People are dying and we're stuck in a fantasy world. It's true. Also, she hits me with the stuff and we just heal. You're cooking so good, Wicked Witch. It's delicious. It heals me back to full health. Thank you. Man, that window is so short. I think, yeah, that's what I'm thinking is the fantasy world might be frozen in time, or at least, uh, like a lot slower. Oh my goodness, I got bopped by a broom. There you go. Got her one health down. Oh, the broom's still attacking! Whoa! What, what the hell was that? The Wicked Witch. You've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sianna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Uh, yeah, breathe easy? What do you... What? Hold on, wait. 
whoa. He's like, do you want to play? And she's like, no, no, don't worry about it. You don't have to be afraid. I just need the beans from your, for your bean stock. I don't, I don't need to play games. What on earth did you do to poor Jack? What? Breathe easy. Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean. So he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? See, Anna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Oh, something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home, for instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anna Rieta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoot. Oh my goodness, she is just a vile person. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Came to free you, came to look, <laughs> came to look at your lost childhood. That will, will be, man, should we be serious on this one? I don't know. You think art works? No, art wasn't working on that one. I tried it twice. Um, so both the sisters deserve, um, yeah, so, yeah, both both the they both these sisters are just awful people. It seems. <laughs> Turns out, who knew? Two is such a fire answer. Everyone is dying. Uh, number one is the best answer. True, true. Sarcasm is Geralt's way. This is also really true. That's this really true. Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care More and his little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. What do you think? Why might I be here? It's Deadlove. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlove, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadlove, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadlock was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Alright, let's get to business. Oh, I mean, and by that I mean, give me more lore. This place. Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. Okay. Since you brought it up, the knights Deadloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Durak, Aqua, Perak Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm-hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Dulac had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. 
Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. Explains a lot. Yeah, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. Hmm. Yeah, welcome to Code Flows. Welcome. How are you doing? Welcome. Uh, yeah, Dorn. <laughs> the, the slightly messed up fairy tale space. It's exactly right. Um, the exiled because of the curse? Yeah, right? I, I actually think that's probably going to be used as an excuse, and it was for some other reason. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you, Renfrey of Creighton. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Uh, uh, what's up with these beans? So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. That you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Hmm. Stalk won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. All right. Off we go. Oh my goodness, you're level 71 in Just New Velen playing New Game Plus. wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. First, I want to see if I can pick up stuff from the witch. Gingerbread. Hey, and some cookies. Oh, we could always use some cookies. Nice. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed, a massacre, which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't worry. Time flows differently in the Fatal Sphere. I had a feeling. Stay here a week, yet outside, mere minutes will have passed. So, how long how, are you coming with? Where are you? Okay. How long has she been in here then? As it felt like she's been in here, rather. That's my question. To be fair, a lot of fables have been uh, sanitized uh, to create degrees for modern times. Yes! A lot of old fables are just terrifying. Oh, my pixies. Gracious, pixies are scary. Sam, pixies. Oh, she is, she's in the fight too. Cool. Nice. They always use someone else to draw a little bit of these attacks. Not the friendliest pixies I've met. We were put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Meaning you. Alright. Well, it's nice and beautiful out here. Good gracious, that cave was scary. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. One literally says Roach. It literally says Roach. Roach? Roach, what happened to you? You've got a new horn. And you're white now. So I guess they just use the exact same... Geralt calls every mount Roach, I guess. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. <laughs> Rather not. <laughs> True. Yes, that's right. That's right. Um, he went through a paint. Uh, went through a, he went through a paint job to get your attention because he missed me. Oh yeah, it's true. We haven't been doing much with both. That's really funny. Um, 
yeah, earlier in this game, uh, Geralt and Yennefer do some acrobatics on a unicorn. Hence the, uh, his memory of a unicorn. Uh, especially a white one is, uh, slightly different. Did you do the road specific quest yet? I don't know where it is. Someone mentioned that earlier. I've not run into it. I'm not sure where it is. What now, you piece of filth? I'm alright. Not in any danger. <laughs> That's him. Joss. Last, they're going to rip him in six. Okay, wolves. This is this isn't gonna work for me. This isn't gonna work for me. Much better. Also, uh, wrong sword. Oh, I have to use a magic. Uh, of course, they're illusions. I need to use a magic sword. No wonder I was struggling. Like, no wonder I'm doing no damage. Eh, uh, much better. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Wolf. Guys down, come on. You can only stun lock him for so long. Go, oh, you're done. Oh, come on, you're done. Two more. Oh my goodness, in midair, nice. I love that we're able to freeze him in the middle of uh middle of a jump. Oh my sweet these hills are beautiful. Roll pack is still the hardest to take care of. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's gonna get old real quick, huh? Uh, red bean, what happened to it? Where's the blue one? Let's talk with the yellow. Start with red. This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Whoops! Run! Gracious. Okay. Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe. Not at all. Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody. Three times over. Help! Wolves! So what? Uh, three blind mice? For that last one there? Or <laughs> something? Pigs, maybe? It's something of threes. Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? Peace. All right, let's go. All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! You be careful, kid. She's she's serious. Tough to talk to that one. Was it though? You need merely remember he always lies, or more precisely, reverses the truth. Mm -hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables, the meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, the real Bears. Fish, and Goldilocks, of course. Then Long Locks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, uh, fine. Let's get to work. Oh, that makes sense. Forgot about the bears. Of course. It's the three bears as well. As always. Incredible. You must have loved this place. Things are best in prime. First. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Hmm. 
Oh look, the Emperor of Nilfgaard. He's come out to show off his new robe. Stunning, are they not? My new robe's absolutely stunning. My new attire reveals itself. But Emperor's new clothes, classic. Good, good. That's a good one, man. These, these are good. Well done. It's really well done. Pie Piper. No rats though. Oh no no, there it is. There's a bunch of them actually. We'll all right then. All right, so when you find a magic beat, oh, okay, pixies. All right, pixies. Sit down. Try and gang up on me. Oh my goodness, Sam. This AOE art is just so good. The fact that they're all just clouds of darkness makes this really tough. Or rather, more accurately, they're covered in clouds of darkness until uh, they're not. Nothing to pick up from them. They've all got little witch hats. Cute. Oh, man. Uh, and this section is wild. Yeah, it really is. No kidding. Um, it's the first time running through the activities. Yeah, that's because you miss things. I can understand missing a lot of stuff in this place. <laughs> All right, uh, no map, right? Yeah, no map, great. Okay, ooh, sorry. Uh, is your Ardendite maxed out? Ooh, I don't, uh, no, we just leveled up. It shouldn't be. Yeah, we just leveled up to 50 recently. Um, during all the kerfuffling outside. So now, oh, also, this is the thing we got from the Gwent tournament. How is this? It's actually pretty good. It's got Ard, Igni, and Axi sign intensity, as well as 75% increased crit hit bonus damage and 15% increased crit hit chance, as well as the three um, slots. I mean, it doesn't have, we won't be able to get it up to uh, 30 bleed. We can get it to 15 bleed. We won't have any dismemberment chance, and we don't get quite as much experience. But we don't need it for the set bonus that we have right now. I think Blav is actually... Blav A? I think it's Blav A. Uh, it's actually really good. That's actually like... That's like really good for us. I mean, we don't need it right now. We're not playing with steel swords. We're playing with only silvers. But um, it's really good. Uh, however, I think we're going to have to go ahead and end it here tonight. We're gonna have to go ahead and end it here tonight. It was a good, good stream. We got a lot done. Uh, we finished off the last of the little bits here and there. Uh, we're at five hours. Uptime is five hours there, Badger. Um, for high damage, got to mix and match equipments. Yeah, we're gonna have to go swap them around. We're gonna go find someone to go and raid. But we'll be back tomorrow to continue on this story. I'm having a blast with this. Though we are, from what I can tell, getting close to the end. At least you know, right like near the climax of everything that's going on here. Uh, yeah, I know, boo. We have to leave. Unfortunately, I do have to wake up in five hours, so I need to end it here. Um, but again, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be continuing playing The Witcher. I think we'll probably either be done tomorrow in, in like one or two more streams, probably. We'll probably finish up this, I think. We need 12 more hours. Yeah, uh, only 19 hours until we have a 24 hour stream done. True, this is true. Uh, one of these days we'll get around to it. Um, sooner than later. I don't know if we'll get to 24, but we'll probably get up to a 12-hour stream soon. We did that once. Well, I think we did like 11 and a half hours is what it was for uh, Fallout New Vegas. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and find someone to raid here. Uh, but I think one or two more streams and we'll be finished with The Witcher, especially if we're going to be doing both versions. Uh, then it might even be three more streams of The Witcher before we get there. Uh, so if that's the case, then that would mean sometime mid next week, I think it would mean, is mid next week, we'll have a new vote for what the game's going to be taking over for uh, The Witcher. That's going to be fun. Hey, Scrubbo, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate that. Uh, absolutely, anyone who uh, wants to follow and see us continue on this journey, we're going to be playing Witcher t uh, tomorrow, today, technically. Um, and then we'll be uh, playing and likely finishing Bioshock 1 uh the day after and the day after that hey joji uh joji thanks for the follow welcome uh and then uh we'll have to do a new vote for that one as well so for anyone while well, i'm still looking for someone for us to raid here for anyone who has does not know how it works is as soon as we um as soon as we finish a game what we do 
is we have a community vote, multiple choice, five games of choice that I'm interested in playing that you guys will be able to choose from. Uh, whatever game out of those five gets the most points is the one that wins, and that's what we end up playing next. Uh, and anything that doesn't get um, that doesn't get first place, uh, second and third place are guaranteed in the upcoming vote afterwards. Fourth and fifth place aren't. Generally, fourth does still get on there. Uh, fifth place gets kicked off the list, and we try again another time. Um, oh, we can't raid this guy because he's similarly in the story, and I don't know if that means we're going to be running the same thing. So we'll go ahead and we'll see if we can raid her instead. Let's try this. See if we can raid this gal. Looks like we can. All right, let's go ahead and get this raid put together. Um, but again. We'll be back again tomorrow for more of this. I'll see y'all then. Thanks again for stopping by and saying I really appreciate it. Having a lot of fun with this, especially with you guys coming in with the advice and the and the insight. Because I'm all about the lore on these games and any additional information I can get. Love it. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get the raid rolling. Oh, did it work? No. No, we can't raid her. She has raids disabled. Well, that means she doesn't get a raid. <laughs> Let's try another one. We're going to be here forever, aren't we? Maybe that's exactly what you're all planning, huh? Um, Let's raid this guy. I haven't seen this guy here before. Let's see if we can raid him. He's just started up his stream, too. Excellent. So he'll be around for a while. Go get that raid started. Oh, I can't raid. I don't know. Guys, we might not be able to raid today. <laughs> I don't have anyone to raid. We're just going to have to end it here. I'm not going to just keep waffling and, uh, and going until we finally can. We're just going to have to end it here. I don't have anyone that we normally watch that's online. Well, again, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Really appreciate it. See you guys all tomorrow for us to continue this game. And again, uh, if anyone's got games that they would like to suggest, jump on into the Discord. There's a, uh, there's a channel specifically set for game suggestions for us to get onto that list, which is still like 70 games strong for to be played through. All right, take care, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.